your energy comes through right away. That's the other thing I saw. Oh, thank you. And I was like, I like, I like him. I'm gonna talk to him. Everybody go. Everybody go. Silence our phones. Hi, everybody. Oh my goodness, I haven't done this in so long. How long has it been since I've seen you guys? Has it been like a month? Has it been like a month? No, it hasn't been like a month. It hasn't been that long. Has it? When was the last time I did a live, guys? What's going on? It's so great to see everybody and be. Let me send this to Lisa and make sure. Okay. Hi, everybody. What's going on? Come on into the classroom. Come on inside of the classroom. What is going on? I have missed you guys so freaking much. I've been gone for a minute and now I'm back with the jump off. Goons in the club, case something, jump off. Wait, is it pops off? It don't matter. If it leaps, it's done. Listen, I miss you guys so much. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you guys. Anyways, let's get this show on the mother loving road. What is going on, everybody? My name is Oliver Twix, your nerd boy cutie reporting for duty here to do the Lord's work once again. And today we are speaking to Lisa Jackson from America's Next Top Model Cycle 9. And we're going to get into the things of the things of the things. For the most part, she has agreed to be an open book on everything. So we're going to get all the answers that we want. And there may be a couple of surprises down the road. So make sure you stay for the whole thing. Hold on. I got to, hold on. I got to shout something out right fast. Give me one second. No throwing paper in the classroom, please. I should have got this before I sat down, but I forgot. Today's live is being sponsored by Flint's Barbecue. They are a barbecue company out there in Los Angeles, I believe Inglewood, where Tyra's from. Wow, but I've cooked with this barbecue sauce before. They also have like a beef rub that is so good. It's Flint's Barbecue on social media, on Google, on Instagram. They're really good. Flint, I love you. I have to open here and use it. I've been eating nothing but vegetables and soup because I'm trying to get skinny again. Okay, without further ado. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. It's so great to finally e meet you. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Doing? How are you? Cookie, go sit down. Bye. How are you feeling today? Where are you calling from in the world? I'm in Miami right now. You know, the housing market's pretty hot here, so gotta be aware of that. Yes. 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 I'm supposed to be coming to. What is it? What's the terminology? I'm new to all this stuff. Swimsuit Fashion Week? Oh, yeah, exactly. So I'm here still doing a little bit of the modeling. You know, right now it's been a weird year. So for me, Miami is just a place of respite. To chill. Uh -huh. so, you know, New York gets back to New York fully. Uh -huh. uh -huh. you know? And so, yeah, I'm doing the swimming for the first time. I've actually never done uh, Miami in my, what, 15 years of modeling. So, nothing fashion wise. Nothing fashion wise, no. Oh. Will you be down there for Fourth of July? I will be. Mm -hmm. Hope y'all get to meet you. I know. I heard your clothes. Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. Well, this time I'm going straight to Miami. Miami. But you know what? I I mean, I shouldn't probably say this, but Miami is like it right now. Really? Yeah, like twenty twenty where <laughs> Are the boys out there? Everyone's out here. 
but you know, I look for both. So, <laughs> are the men out there, Lisa? Because you know, I'm back on the market. So I'm like, is there actually not the boys? I need to. I, I need to get the word boys out of my mouth. Are the men out there? Exactly. I was going to say, because I ain't dealing with no boys right now. I, I got mm -mm. one man. Well, we, we, we are not, so, like, you know, I'm keeping that on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned to keep my, my love life on the low. low. Mm -hmm. Well, my, well my, my love life is open, readily, and available, and I'm trying to get it up and stuck, okay? <laughs> if it's up, then it's stuck. You can come hang with me. I need yeah. I need friends out here. It's weird out here. It's like, you know, I just mm -hmm. can't. So it's always that adapting point, mm -hmm. like a month and a half. Well, I know some fabulous women and men down there that, yeah, we could have like a, you know, a nice little networking thing. I think I, I would love that. I'm out here scrounging for some. And they're fat and they're fabulous. They go, they go, they go on boating trips and yachts and, you know, they drink rosé on Thursdays. Rosé on Thursdays. And if you know the right people, you might find yourself in Turks and Caicos or the Bahamas. Right. But an hour away, like, hello. Guess who Is it that? really that close? Huh? Is it really that close? It's that close. And if you know someone with a private jet or two. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? It's, it's probably something you can teach me, actually. Are we going to be friends? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, back to, the, back to the matter at hand. Lisa, tell me and everybody why you've decided to do one of these. Because we've interacted before a long time ago when I first started. And I know the people wanted me to go live with you. And we've spoken about it here and there. So what made you finally say, yes, I'm going to do it? Well, because you know what? I get a lot of DMs about it. I mean, people have been freaking out. And then, funny enough, I don't know what brought me... You know, YouTube can take you anywhere. You just like looking up fashion shows and suddenly I'm like, er, er, and I'm watching you and Jenna speak. And I hadn't really, like I saw your name before I even saw hers. And I was like, hmm. And then she said something and I was like, oh, I forgot that. Oh, that's right. Ooh, do, 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 do. So I was like, let me. And then, you know, with the DMs, everyone's like, even Forget DMs, they're leaving comments. Lisa, talk to Oliver. We need to hear from Oliver. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's give the people what they want. So I've been laying low. I like to, like, you know, remain kind of this. And I asked another friend about it. I was like, I don't do interviews. I don't think I'm really good at them. And he's like, that's crazy. All you do is talk. Do it. Mm -hmm. All right, I will do it. I will do Yay! It. I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm so grateful. All of us are grateful for you to have agreed to this moment and I know it's going to be freaking amazing your energy comes through right away that's the other thing I saw oh thank you and I was like I like I like him I'm gonna talk to him I can talk to him thank you yay I have one woman <laughs> named Lisa as a friend <laughs> I'm fun. I'm fun. people don't know that like they may be so weird on the show but I'm like like you should see me and Bianca we are too really yeah that's bae she's amazing she's an amazing okay oh this is so much fun because of course you know we have to talk about things in context of cycle nine so i'm so interested to hear how you talk about things back then and especially now including your relationship with bianca when you told me that you guys were like really cool I was like oh my god that is so cool like we so right after the show, right after the show we both get signed at major i'm mad I'm mad mad too because I'm still coming off the show with that energy, right? And after mm -hmm. the show, you kind of get reminded, like, oh, even the edit that they do, you you remember it that way a little bit too. But that's not mm. the real way. But you know, so I was like, oh, and then I was like, why well, she got me signed at my agency of all agencies in New York? And then they send us right away to South Africa. That's our first first trip. And her and I are staying in the house together. I'm like, oh, bro. Because I did not dislike her coming off the show, but it was just what it was, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, let me tell you, by the, same, by the five minutes we sat in that house together, we were best of friends from South Africa. We took over. South oh, Africa. that is so amazing. My 21st birthday in South Africa. Lisa, let me ask you this. Do you have headphones? I, you know, I just, I'm, I'm, on, a, I'm on a thing with uh, Apple. I just lost my third pair of those pocket AirPods. These but thingies? Because I had gotten those and lost those, I cannot find my wired ones. 
Oh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Well, uh, hold on, hold on. I'll sing a song. We were selling God long. Our new life day. We can hear the... Somebody told me the right word to this. We can hear the whistle screaming. They seem to say... I gotta plug it in too. Oh, you know, I'm so done with those Apple iPod things. They're a lot. So I was officially invested. $600 into that month. Anyways. I'm not gonna be that way. We know I'm gonna take Apple down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start right oh, at the Lord. top. That's not driving crazy. Are you ready? Okay. okay. Are you ready? Are we good? Are we better? Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Okay, so tell us what made you audition for America's Next Top Model. So I was the classic girl from. Uh, well, actually, I grew up in Connecticut. And um, it would, what I think Top Model came out when I was 16. And so, like, I became a little obsessive being a model around them because I just wanted to get out of my situation. And I wasn't the girl that thought I was beautiful. I really didn't. I just knew I was tall and I was skinny and you could make money as a model and travel. I was like, oh, let me get up on that. And then, you know, Top Model came out. And, um, you know, I'm the girl, I love Eva and Yaya, that was my favorite season at the time. So it was that season of, you can be that girl, you could, that's when you saw Takara and you saw the different diversity. And I was like, you know what, maybe I could fit in there. Maybe I could show something. Maybe I do have a story. Maybe, maybe. And mm -hmm. so I got it in my head that I was going to just be on top of my, and kind of stuck with me. Yeah. And then the funny thing was I couldn't become an American next time because I didn't have my citizenship until I was 18. So I got my citizenship. And then suddenly the doors opened up even wider. And really, I didn't even get on top model until like towards the end of me being 19. when I had moved out to New York, and I almost got signed with Elite right away. And I actually auditioned for the show. And that hearing thing. So I went mm -hmm. for the thing. And literally, the week I get my contract with Elite, I get the call. You're going to be on America's Next Top Model. I'm, like, uh -huh. I'm going on TV. But, like, back then, you didn't know. Like, you didn't know anything. You didn't know anything about. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about modeling. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about the industry. You couldn't Google anything, right? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like that. It was just what you saw on TV. I loved Tyra Banks. I was a big fan. So it was all the opportunities rolled into one for me. And it was also an opportunity to show everybody at high school that hated on me. Look at me now. Mm -hmm. And anyone that said I can do nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was that girl. Yeah, trying to prove something. So I went on the audition and uh, <laughs> here, here we are. <laughs> it's so funny you said that. I got this um, alumni thing from my college the other day. I guess they're doing something for like Pride Month and all the people who went and who were... Um, you know, who are all, you know, part of the community who do something. And so they were like, what would you tell your younger self? And originally I typed, be way more unapologetic because you're going to be richer than, than them all very soon. <laughs> 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 I deleted it. I was like, that's not the attitude to have. But I'm so, I care so, so curiously. Look at that's a good attitude to have because you know what? It was the fire I needed at mm -hmm. the time. You know, it's fire. It's, mm -hmm. Everyone needs something. I think some people have something to prove. Some people have something to to say to their family. I can do what you've always said I could do. There's mm -hmm. just different levels to what, mm -hmm. where, how you get there. For yeah. me, I needed to prove everybody wrong because I, I got, for the most part of my life, put down. So mm -hmm. that's my way of rising up. Now, many people in the chat are asking, what country are you originally from? I'm from Jamaica, you know. Really? Yes, man. I'm from my yard. <laughs> I did not think that was going to come out of your mouth. Yes, man. I'm a Jamaican. My white Jamaican. I'm a Jamaican to see him, you know? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That is so amazing. Yeah. I really hate that they didn't exploit that a little bit more because mm -hmm. something you're so... When you're Jamaican, treat your pro. Your pro say your pro, my And nobody, nothing. I ain't get none of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The only other woman I have in my life that I hear speak in in Jamaican Patois, which I absolutely love because I'm for, from Fort Lauderdale, is, you know Spice, right? Our spi Spicy Spice. Spice. Yeah. Uh-huh. I said Jamaican. 
Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I love when I, when I talk to her, she starts talking, talking in her <laughs> accent. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's fun. I, I get, I get into it more and more because I just love how people like so. Even Jamaicans, mm -hmm. they get all mm -hmm. like. But you know, if you know Jamaica, you know that so I even come from country. I'm a country girl, so you know. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. I never knew you were from that place. Yeah, yeah. I'm Jamaican and German, so that's not oh, that's hot. hot. But my mother Jamaican, so you know, so yeah, Jamaican. First. Can you can you speak German? Mm -mm. I was in a band Jamaica. I'm in a band that's so no white people. I'm a lucky to make her even go to Germany now. <laughs> No, I don't speak German, but I spent oh. a lot of time. But I've gone to Germany for work. So I'm, I'm pretty from... sure. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So you get the phone call, you throw away that elite modeling contract, boom, vanish, and you're going to America's Next Top Model. How was your onboarding process? So I um, wait, wait, you mean like the whole? So for me, actually, you know, I was so excited. Everything felt like it was just unfold. At that point in my life, everything was unfolding. You know, mm -hmm. so I got the yeah. opportunity to like just it just all it was all exciting. I didn't even think I doubted myself until I got to the towards the really towards the the filming process. Mm -hmm. So like the auditions, excuse me, the auditions were like um, really just. I remember it was only me and one other girl because funny enough my i the i was supposed to go to the new york i was living in jersey city at the time i just moved from connecticut to jersey city and they always put that i was from jersey city i didn't like that so <laughs> <laughs> and um i you know new york would have been new york city would have been the obvious one because mm -hmm. i was right there but i actually ended up like doing i think i was moving or something and i went to go grab something and i oh, douche myself in the eye so i actually missed that casting because of that so i was like no i can't miss this year this is what i wanted and i ended up having to drive to elizabeth or south jersey and it was only me and one other girl and funny enough that girl like she ended up she was the only other girl that ended, I ended up seeing at the callbacks in California when they oh, wow. have all the girls. So it was kind of like her and I, we even saw each other over the sea of people, you know? Oh, no. Nice. We were like, we go, this is easy. Look at these people. Yes. We don't make it. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you get there and you see the cameras, you see the production. And in your case, you guys actually were on a ship, right? Yes, that was awful. Okay, talk to me about that because Jenna kind of spilled it, spilled it a little bit about how treacherous it was. Sarah talked about it a little bit. How was the experience for you? The, it was, I think it was across the board <laughs> for everyone. It was stressful for us filming. Uh -huh. and it was stressful for the people that wanted to be on vacation because they were the, they actually at the time, I think we ended up in the tabloids, but even though they, because the people were complaining, like we paid for this and they're messing up our vacation and they're doing all this filming. We're filming by the pool. We're filming where people wanted to just relax. And mm -hmm. we were taking up all that for the filming. And um, I remember some girls were getting uh, seasick. And for me though, like I said, at this point, everything was so exciting. It was all just like a part of it. It was the crazy, mm -hmm. the bad, the good. You know, that was the first time we met Tyra. And like I said, I was like a Tyra fan. So I was mm -hmm. like, oh my God. I was that girl. I was like, oh my God, this is really hot. And they were like scream a hundred times for Tyra. I was each time like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, holla. So I'm going to do something that the girls and scrolls love on these little things, which is a and roll call. I'm going to name everybody who was cast on your cycle, and you're going to tell me the first thing that comes to your brain, heart, mind, and soul, wait, good, wait, wait. bad, ugly, or indifferent. Okay, wait, you're going to say their names, and I got to... You just say whatever, whatever, whatever you feel. Okay, okay. You ready? Okay. You ready? No, okay. <laughs> Girl... <laughs> Okay. Mila. Mila. I forgot who Mila is. Oh. She was the girl who went home first. Oh! And... Oh! The, 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 the rich girl. Yeah. Oh, she was rich? She, she was sweet. Mm -hmm. She kept talking about it. But she was like, I don't need this. My daddy rich. But I, I remember she was actually really, really sweet. She was indifferent about the whole process. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. But Where that's is she now. Oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> I haven't talked to. Them. I only but know Bianca and Sarah follows me on Instagram mm -hmm. and Celicia. Did you think? Did you think that she was gonna go home first? Because in, in the episode, I don't know if you remember, but it was basically they, they were trying to make it seem like she was laughing at the shoot and making a joke of the whole situation, and her think, seriousness was called into question. What did you think? I think that was her thing. Like she was so above it all. Mm -hmm. and I think you know we all kind of knew someone had to go first. And she made it easy for them, I think, if I remember properly. You know, it's really hard to go back. That was years. Right? <laughs> years and years. Mm -hmm. The second person on the list is Kimberly. Oh, I love, oh, I love Kimberly. That's still Bay. Oh, Kim is one of the funniest people I know. Mm -hmm. Really, genuinely, just like good fun, too. Not, you know, yeah. Oh. Not not a lot of questions about this photo shoot, so I'll ask about it now. How was the rock climbing photo shoot? Um, you know, I'm I'm afraid of heights, right? I oh, my ass is. So that was one of those moments where I had to like, I've never, you know, you know, black people we don't. It's not that Why? we did well back then. We now maybe it's cool. Everybody does everything, but we were. I wasn't climbing no rocks. <laughs> <laughs> but now you know like I remember feeling that way like it was one of those things where I had to overcome myself but mm -hmm. I think I was also so outwardly like uncomfortable I remember all the girls never liked when I showed that I was uncomfortable like oh, she's got another thing you know and they were giving <laughs> me that narrative so the girls are going along with it so mm -hmm. I, 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 but I, I think I did pretty good on that, that, um, that I mean, one. you, you did well in all your photo shoots. Stop acting. I, I don't know. I, I feel, I have my things about some of these shoots, you know, they don't like to pick the best ones and all that. Which we're going to get into. So just put a nice little cute pin in that for what's next. <laughs> the next person on the list is Victoria. The prickly disposition Victoria. Um, Victoria, you see, I, she was an amazing girl. I didn't really understand the narrative they came up with. Even, you have to remember, some of these things, they take all this information and they mm -hmm. mold it later. So even though you mm -hmm. see playing out a little bit on the thing, you don't really know. I don't remember thinking that way about her. I don't remember feeling that she was any of that personality that they gave her. It's like, she was so nice, down to earth, smart, but in that humble way. Mm -hmm. I remember her being all stuck up, and they were really trying to make something out of nothing. It's one of those stories. So, from the girls I've talked to from Cycle 9, they all speak about this moment for the most part, when she turns around to y'all and was like, have I been prickly or, like, rude to any, any of y'all? Of course, we didn't see. They didn't put it. Do you remember that moment? I don't, but... You know, I think there were moments where, like I said, like, maybe she did have to prove, like, she wasn't that way. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Is that one of the moments everyone remembers but me? Damn. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, the next person on the list is Janet. Oh Janet is mama. She was the mama bear. She was mm -hmm. that southern comfort. She was a good one. She's still a good one. I think she has a baby now. Oh. I went on her page uh this week. She's I mean, she was gorgeous then, but she's so pretty. She has such a beautiful smile. So, right? And, like, she's mm -hmm. someone you want to hug from, like, mm -hmm. miles away. She's got that warmth. Mm -hmm. She's a warm person. Good yeah. person. The next person on the list is Ebony Morgan. Ebony is still, to this day, one of the most beautiful women I think I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. Thank God. Really? That. Yes. <laughs> In person, and I will ne I don't know, you can watch it and you'll never see it, but like, and, you know, the camera captures everyone. I think they captured it when she took pictures, mm -hmm. but in person, you never see clearer skin. And then her eyes were like honey to her skin, mm -hmm. and not a drop of makeup was needed. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stunning, regal. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened with her time on Top Model from your vantage point? <laughs> Look, okay, so at that point, there was a, there's a lot of things that even happened with my narrative, right? Like, I think Janet and Ebony were the girls that 
had they continued a little bit longer, I would have stayed a little bit stronger. Those are my girls mm -hmm. on the show, you know? And um, then they were, like, picked off one after the other. And there I was. So I was like, damn it. They all left me alone in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when she left, I was trying not to. I was one of the girls. And she was like, Lisa, I got, I got like, I got to leave. And I was like, no. <laughs> she's like i can't i can't she really confided in me um and i sensed that you know tyra really was not feeling her and tyra just had that energy towards her so i don't blame her so hold on hold on hold on let's dissect some of this so she had already confided in you that she was gonna walk out yeah Mm -hmm. Do you care to share why she felt so strongly about that decision? Well, she was being picked apart in ways I don't think she was prepared for. Okay. And you have to remember, like, again, now we have all gotten really privy to the celebrity culture. Mm -hmm. We have, mm -hmm. we, get, we can Google anything. We know, we can, we can, you can Google your whole personality, how to be on reality TV and go on there and try to, we were really like, this is happening. Da, da, da. <gasps> Tyra's breathing near us. <gasps> so anything that they said, positive or negative, mm -hmm. really impacted our self-esteem, mm -hmm. who we thought we were, where we were going. We were young. And we, you know, 19-year-olds back then, I would say we were very similar to how I see 16-year-olds. We were mm -hmm. young. Mm -hmm. We were young. Impressionable. And impressionable. So when Tyra goes, what's wrong with you? Why are you not smiling? It's like... Mm -hmm. I'm never gonna because you can't even smile now. The poor girl, and she did have issues where she felt uncomfortable with her teeth and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I felt like Tyra felt like she was trying to get free dental work or something. Like that's how Tyra was treating her. Like, what you on my show for? Mm -hmm. Like it was just really? weird. And Tyra is weird. I mean, I've said this a lot of times. I've not said it in the most uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Which we are gonna get into a little bit, a little bit later. Just had that weird energy, just weird energy. And I don't know if that I've, I've debated this. I'm like, was it for the show? You know, they need to keep it interesting because you gotta remember back then, everyone was ruthless. You know, ruthless on reality TV, ruthless in the tabloids. People were mean in 2007, 2007, mm -hmm. 2008. You know, there was no yeah. Barack wasn't in the office yet. Exactly, and body shaming was normal. You know, it was normal to call a celebrity fat and all that in tabloids and be mm -hmm. mean. And so for us to go on a show, I think it was just normal to be like, let's provoke these girls however we can to get a reaction because that's what the people want to see. And that's how the people were back then. So sometimes you want to blame Tyra, but it's like, what were the times you were living in? You know? Mm hmm Okay. Um, the next person on the list is our Ambrielle. Oh, uh, Embryo was a very, very intelligent person. I found mm -hmm. I found her to be very talented as well. Talented mm -hmm. outside of modeling. She really had that kind of, and she should have been an actress. Like, she was that girl for me. Mm -hmm. Um, the next person on our list is Heather. Where is Heather? Can we go on the hunt for Heather? Can we find Heather? We love Heather. Everybody Ooh, across the board my life has has to love Heather. We gotta find Heather. She Ooh, needs to know how loved she is. She is loved. Period. So I, I was on YouTube and I feel like I saw this recent, relatively recent news clip of Heather with a guy at a news station talking about a foundation I think she was working for or in support of. And I was like, oh my god, I probably can go find Heather that way. Excuse me, I think I can go find Heather like that. But yes, where's Heather? <laughs> Where is Heather? Let's go. We got Bianca should know what Heather is. Let's go get Bianca <laughs> to get Heather. <laughs> All the three of us on a mission. <laughs> yes, the finder. Ooh, if the if the Antium fans only know how much digging I have done to find some of the, the people y'all want me to talk to, I know what it is. But it's good though, because you mm -hmm. know, like I said, like it's something I debated more just because of my own like oh I don't know, but. I'm excited. Like, doing this is fun. It's Yay! Fun. It's good fun. It's good. Any any additional thoughts on Heather? Heather was a, uh, you know... Heather, Heather, I, but you know, that's what that's why you can't really say much more than all things considered. How mm -hmm. beautiful was she? How brave was she to mm -hmm. even be there in spite of that? 
it mm-hmm. and and open our minds to people that again for a time that was very ignorant a very great space that she created and everybody loved her for it mm-hmm. what what more can you say what mm-hmm. more can you say I forgot about some, someone. I'm so sorry. And, Not and we love about, Sarah. But... Yes, Sarah! <laughs> Sarah! 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 Sarah and I, we, we have actually um, over the, you know, a lot of things that happened, happened for the show. Mm-hmm. So girls have, like, reached out to me apologizing about how they treated me. She was one of them. Dope. She was the one that really, like, was like, please, how I said about you being a down, Debbie Downer and all that. And I was like, you know, whatever makes for the show I was, but. Mm-hmm. it's not what it is like life is so much bigger than those three months mm-hmm. you know yeah the next person on the list is Bianca Bianca as you know she became my travel buddy at one point I mean mm-hmm. we were signed to the same agency we hung out a lot mm-hmm. and I have to say I might just as they equate her to being just like sisterly at this point. I love her. She's good. She's good. She's great. She's done amazing things. I have nothing but love and, you know, respect. A lot of respect. She did amazing things. And she's doing amazing things. So, Like getting married? Like getting married. Like being a boss-ass teacher. Doing her TED Talk. Uh, yeah. I, I, I love that. I love seeing that. You know, I yeah. love that for- so I'm excited. I know how much drive she has. Mm-hmm. You know. Yes, Bianca. We love Bianca. Okay, the next person on the list. Another person who I love from your cycle. I think we're like besties now. Is Jenna? What are your thoughts on Jenna? Uh, she's not my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what Jenna do? Jenna, you know. At the time, just to say, I think I initially liked Jenna, but the second she started trying to be friends with Bianca, I, th- I remember on the show. Again, like, this is different now. I'm sure if I spoke to her now, it would be absolutely different. But I just remember not really caring for her personality overall. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Nothing bad. Nothing. Just what it was from the... <laughs> you're like, mm-hmm. that's not best. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey, listen, I'm out of my business, but in, in your feelings are that. <laughs> Your feelings are not invalid. If that, if that was your experience, that was your experience. That was my yeah. experience. Mm-hmm. I just did it. I think even after the show, we had a little moment. Like, I just was like, shut up. Just is <laughs> When you get the chance, I think you should really watch her <laughs> chat that I did with her about Cycle 9. I think it, it, it'll very much so open up your eyes. And I've, I talked to her often. I hung out with her when I went to LA early this year. And she's, I just love Jenna. Like, I just love her. I think, like I said, th- that space, was Mm -hmm. so you know you're not gonna get along with everyone Mm -hmm. and we were all i remember a lot of the girls were against me Mm -hmm. after my girls left were they threatened were they threatened by me well i mean like you know they were i mean it was a lot of that where they were sitting around talking about me when i just did anything so and the energy that the producers kept pushing was we were they isolated me in a lot of ways so it was fine but it was just another layer that I didn't need. But it, it's fine. We've seen how things have played out. So mm-hmm. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you better read. Yes, ma'am. Tell I'm Jamaican. Let me stop, though. You know. tell, me about... <laughs> <laughs> tell me about how you feel like the producers isolated you from everybody else. I think they had, like I said, there's a narrative they had to go with. Right, and it's it's everyone had somebody had to be the bitch, somebody had to be the sad girl, somebody had to be the, and it's unfortunate because I think they missed out on some serious fun trying Mm -hmm. to be so like that mean girl creating that environment, Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. you know what I always say why they didn't need to do that RuPaul proved that. How much do we love the RuPaul Drag Race because they love it? Because there's fun. There's fun mm-hmm. energy. It's not trying to tear each other down. It's building mm-hmm. each other up. And they were completely always working off of that high mm-hmm. school. We're going to have the mean girls and the this girl. And, the, and it's just like, it didn't need to be all that. But maybe it did. I don't know. I'm not a producer. Hmm. <laughs> the next person yes. on the list is... Uh, let it see here. <laughs> the next person on the list is Chantal. Chantal had actually ran into over the years. See? So, like, she wasn't the girl that I thought was so great on the show. She reminded me of that fake Barbie doll type person, whatever. Okay. And then, <laughs> what happened? 
I'm listening. <laughs> and now I ran into her. And we've had that moment where it's like, we're adults now. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. She had a baby. She got, I think, married as well uh-huh. and has has done amazing things in her career. We were also signed recently to a similar agency. Oh, so nothing but – that's the thing about these things. You run into each other and it's like, we don't even – we were even, we, we wouldn't even hate each other. Like, why? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not mm-hmm. like that, you know? Yes. Okay. And yeah. then last but not least, Felicia. Sal is amazing. We love Felicia for love days Felicia. and days and days because you know mm-hmm. what? If there was someone that was going to win it, as now you know my opinions, I'm glad Felicia had one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Out of the top three. So, Felicia's also been nothing but a respectful type of, you know, person. So, mm-hmm. and I actually had a crush on Felicia when I first got in the house. So, <laughs> Ooh. where do you fall on the spectrum? Oh, you know, I love love. Okay, that's exciting. <laughs> so, <laughs> besides Alicia, is there anybody else you would have loved to be a scissor sister with? No, no, no. I'm very like she was. It was cute, but it wasn't all that. It, was it wasn't bad, all that. Bad. Okay. I did. You know, I had a I had a fiance on the show too. So, like, yeah. So, I mean, I go more towards guys, but if you're that girl, you're that girl, like, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's love. Yeah. It's all love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's point our eyes towards the judges' panel. We're going to first start off with Nigel Barker. Um, you know what? I don't have much to say about Nigel because I don't think he directed that much energy towards me. I know a lot of girls got some stuff from him. But I was, of all the people, I could be the most indifferent about him. And, you know, I ran into Nigel I remember one time I was doing a runway show for Betsy Johnson, and he was in the front row, and he was like, she can walk. (laughs) Oh, my God. So I've had my moments where, Mm -hmm. like, even he's had to come over and tip his hat. And I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Please come again. (laughs) (laughs) What about Twiggy? Twiggy, I remember her being sweet. I just remember, okay, like, you know, I was that girl, like, for me, knowing that she was, like, I love, um, you know, I love that she was the classic model she came from and the whole thing, and from there, I just respected her, so. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was endearing. I know some people might have said some stuff about her, but I found her endearing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'm just that way with old people. (laughs) I can see that. I can see that. Miss Twiglet Piglet. What about Miss J? Miss J is my love of my life. And I've run into him since the show. I ran into him mm-hmm. working for um Baby Fat. But it was oh, dope. Yeah, and you know what's funny? I, I I had to still work on my walk at that point and he just booked me for a fitting. So I could just sit by him. I sat by him for like two, three days straight. Oh off nice. the record. Just a, one of the most genuine, real people uh-huh. you will ever, ever meet. Everything, everything they say about him is what it is. He's just who he is. He is exactly love. He's everything. He's Beautiful. she, she. Let's be Beautiful. real. She is everything. So all love for Miss J. Were y'all gossiping about the things of the things when you guys were together? You know, he's respectful. She, look at me. She's respectful, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, there's a, and a, and I did you, and we're just going to, and, like, oh, and put this guest on. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Well, in the power yes. of, uh, 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 the last one now, we're just going to ask you about Tyra Lynn Bank herself. You know, when you meet your hero. <laughs> Let me get some when you business. meet your heroes, mm-hmm. they don't I'm respond to, you. to that. It's very unfortunate. Mm-hmm. And I remember feeling really disappointed. Mm. And it's really unfortunate because, you know, a lot of these girls come on here and some of the things weren't even directed towards me. Let's back up to Ebony, you know, some mm-hmm. of these things. And I was just like, really? Really? Okay. That's how we are? Okay. Okay. What? 
But so, thank you. But thank you for this great opportunity. <laughs> what what interactions did you have with her during the experience that made you have these feelings? Well, you know, it's actually it's a lot of just the the you know, you can feel energy. We're all privy to that now. And you know, like I said before, who knows how much of it is for the greater story like I'm going to be this way because we got to set her up to feel this way. We got to set her up to feel that way. So I, I try to keep that in mind that it might've just been for production. Mm -hmm. So, so you've got to like, that's the problem with the show. It's like, you're going to always find a lot of contradictory because it's, it's that it's a, it, it's a show just based off of provoking and pushing and pulling to get a reaction. So for one girl, it might've been that and she might've just given all love to another girl. And that's how it had to be to, create that thing so mm -hmm. for me it was just weird energy you walk up there and you like thank you mm -hmm. and, it's like, <laughs> 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 and then you know i got eliminated on, on the show when we had went to china and you know it goes back and i guess again mrs j you have her with all her love and her understanding and her graciousness and then you have someone that you were hoping that would come from as well being like a little bit mean girl energy so you know it's unfortunate and at the time i'm looking at it like he talking about it. it's, it's just why mm -hmm. <laughs> why does everyone here hate me damn okay okay what are your thoughts on the production of um top models like the people who ran the show you know it's that's what I'm saying. So it's Ken Mock, for instance, was amazing. And he's the pr executive producer behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And when I had gotten eliminated, I took it really, really hard. I really did. And, you know, now we are so aware of mental health issues and things like that. I'm a girl with a story that is very, very tough. So, like, to go and do these things were, was amazing, but I have my issues and they preyed on them. That's how I feel. And, okay. and um, afterwards... It was actually, you know, like I said, I had been eliminated. I, I had not, the, the thing was done for me. So Mrs. J came up and was like, Lisa, do me one favor. I was like, what? You're amazing. Don't show nobody these pictures. I was like, okay. <laughs> you're going to do, like, basically you don't need these pictures because these pictures are not for the real world. You're going to go mm -hmm. out there and you're going to, you're going to be, you just have your Polaroids. You know, that, that, mm -hmm. he was already giving me, a step into that world yeah and uh she looked over at me like oh, you know that thing yeah it was like that and then you have the the producers who saw me at the at the um the thing. she wait they she came. as in tyra yeah you just felt that energy now maybe i maybe maybe i saw it my way maybe she couldn't maybe she was busy maybe she was tired we were all in china and the producers took the time, the behind the scenes, they came over and they were like, like Ken Mark, we were on the elevator. And it was another guy that I don't remember him. And he was like, you know, you're a real model, right? Like, I was like, okay, I get this. And like, you, you just left because it's just, you were, you know, it's a show. And I, right there, that set me off like, I'm going to be fine. Wowzers. And Wowzers. I was fine. Yes, clearly. I'm still fine. <laughs> yes! Talk your shit. When you ride that. No, I'm oh, but I, I forgot somebody. What about Mr. J. Manuel? Oh, Mr. J. Okay, so again, like, you know, I really think if I ran into him, it would be all love. I think it was another set of, of, of things where it was just strange how on the show he was amazing, amazing, amazing. As soon as the show was off, it was like, hey, girl, you, move. Like, I have a name. <laughs> but but again we gotta we gotta look at it in context we have been traveling we have been exhausted i mean mm -hmm. at that point of filming everyone's kind of i think over it we over find, it. yeah uh, towards the end believe it or not it's very, it's a lot we had traveled for 14 hours to get to 16 who knows how the hell and by the time we were there <laughs> they never let us sleep for nothing the filming was mm -hmm. always all over the place the mm -hmm. setups the hurry up and wait so since i've been hurry early yeah i've learned like but here's the thing I've, I've traveled now i've worked on really big productions i've done the whole thing 
I've never been in a situation where I've had to be treated in any other way than a respectful, per, respected participant in the production. So right. it's, it's, it's interesting to see the, the games that they play because they're supposed to be preparing for an industry, but no, that's not how the industry works at all. So it was really like, you're just mean. Why are you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to get into the fan questions. And these come straight from the fans. Um, who want to know some more things about your time on Top Model. So the first one is from Bryson012688. They want to know, hey, Miss Lisa Jackson, during the auditions, you revealed that you were once a dancer. Were you pressured into revealing that, or did you do it on your own? So, you know, on one level, at the time, I was not a stripper. I was an exotic dancer. Mm -hmm. let's be real but at the time because funny enough now a stripper could be a grammy award winning superstar right <laughs> let's talk about that how the era mm. and everything so it was such a change it was a, you, i was being shamed in a way for something that wasn't even at that level uh, mm -hmm. you know and now I, now i wish anyway yes <laughs> it's like i want a sex tape too <laughs> shit but it was a different time, so uh, mm -hmm. it was an element of being different. You were you were always trying to figure out something to stand out. I couldn't just mm -hmm. say that I was some girl that was working mm -hmm. at Radio Shack just five months before that. That mm -hmm. wasn't interesting. I had to say something interesting, but at the same time, was that pressure to be more interesting, to be more crazy, to step with? Like, in the beginning, I was game. I was like, yep, I'll tell them. But also, I didn't, because, you know, at the time... I didn't want something to come out after and then not be more shame. So better mm -hmm. came from me than from some out, you know, oh, we mm -hmm. found out, da, da, da. And didn't that happen to some girl? I, I was just about to say, right. <laughs> I wasn't right. playing that. So I, and she told them. You see? Yeah. These things that they play. So at the time, I just didn't, or I didn't want someone from that world to say something mm -hmm. and make it work. Because when you don't speak on it, then anyone could build anything on mm -hmm. it. And it's like story. you're trying to hide it. Yeah. And then, like, what are you hiding? And I knew at mm -hmm. the time what I was doing wasn't even that bad. I wasn't even drinking mm -hmm. alcohol at the time. So it's right. like, you know, because there's so many connotations of what that world mm -hmm. might be. Where really, I was mm -hmm. working. I, was, I, I, never, I didn't take my top off. I didn't do none of that. I was just dancing. <laughs> There's this question. Making this more question. Money. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not working ah, I'm out. Can you hear me? I'm talking. I'm just, yes, go ahead. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. No, I'm sorry. No, I wasn't meaning to, to interrupt you. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so uh, there's this question from K-pop Danny that is asking, how does she feel when Tyra Banks kept using that? She's an exotic dancer or was an exotic dancer. Well, you know, I, I don't, I think it wasn't overused as much as you thing because really it was just for the the game of it in the beginning right i was totally mm -hmm. game i think i even gave mrs j a lap dance just for fun i did one of my little split moves mm -hmm. and it was fun it was out of good fun oh no i give one of the girls a little move mm -hmm. and you know even that was being the most like mm -hmm. it was fun getting on the show but then once i was on the show I actually remember one time they were like, why don't you use that ability? Like, it was like a good thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know you got this. Because mm -hmm. I think I did the, or I came out when I did the uh, Enrique Iglesias video. Uh -huh. right? I got to really mm -hmm. show that. You were the leading lady. No. Was, yeah, it was you. It was you. Yeah, it was you. I was yeah, going to say Heather, I but no, it was you. Moment. No, Heather's passed out. <laughs> I had my moments. That was one of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was it's so funny because I think that put me on the trajectory to do a bunch of music videos. So, <laughs> oh my God, won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, S.A. Marcuco wants to know, Lisa, I love you. My question to you is, was the argument between you and Bianca at the beginning of the cycle when she said a when she said A and TM is not um, won't be a dancer, was it more intense than what was shown on TV? Well, no, at the time, I think it was intense because, like I said, it was still all that layers of, like, even before I went on the show, like, I grew up in a very, my foster family, I grew up in foster care for a bit. 
was very religious. Mm. And that was one of the levels of like, ooh, like I didn't mean it said like that, you know, me presenting it. But then, you know, it was what it was back then. Now mm -hmm. I could just be like, mm -hmm, and my hair and nails did, and my lips paid, and blah, 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 blah. that wasn't accepted back then, right? It wasn't cool back then. It wasn't it back then. Mm -hmm. So I knew there was a level of shaming that went with that. And it mm -hmm. hit me like a ton of breaks. But to be fair, that argument only happened because that was literally the first moment where we got a taste of that no eating, no sleeping, being on set. Bianca's in the background. Hey, definitely be Bianca. <laughs> and my own girl. Oh. And like, you know, and that's actually where the root of the issue ever was. Nobody really had issues. It was just that level where everything, and I think we were living off of coffee at that. Like, and it was the mm -hmm. first set of that. And I just was like, what the fuck? Shut up. <laughs> and that's what led us to that. I so wish I could have experienced Bianca back in the day when she was a when she was a, a red hair bopping around New York City. I would have loved to see that. I <laughs> no, it down, Bianca. you know, but but again, maybe that happened. But then there was times when we did come together. Like Bianca Beautiful. isn't all bad, and even that moment, I no. think we we even at at the time like. You know, it was just, it was just what it was. And plus, that's what the show needed. Like, well, where would we be without these, you know, moments? Mm -hmm. It would be the boring show, I guess. I mean, next time I was going to be an exotic dancer. <laughs> dancer! New York accent is so <laughs> thick. It's just, ooh, somebody should have fought her. I mean, you know, I think Salisha gave it a go. But she was taking us all down with that New Yorkness. We weren't ready. And it's almost like when people from New York talk loud, it's like you almost can't combat them really too much. It's, it's, yeah. it's the accent. It's the loudness. Now, granted, <laughs> I don't think a lot of people have seen people from Florida go off. Now, that's a craziness you really don't want to combat. But yeah. when, you, when people from New York start talking, it's like, girl, just have it. Just, just have your moment. But, you mm -hmm, know, like I said, mm -hmm. she, like, she, at the time, I think we were so, t I was so tired. I mean, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, and my energy went from whoop to woof. And so you know even that was like where's this coming from and then she took it so left for me at the <laughs> oh time. i was like i wasn't prepared. i wasn't prepared i'll give her that i was not prepared i was like what is this it says the thing <laughs> check your thighs in the mirror and i'm done girl. <laughs> bianca, <laughs> gave it. bianca gave it but you know what mm -hmm. those those are the moments that make it memorable mm -hmm. you know like that's what it was back then. So. That's what it gave. What it Just gave. Angelo is asking, I remember at the smoking photo shoot, you said, I've been really trying to get my mom to stop smoking. Did she ever stop smoking after a while you were on the show? Unfortunately, no. You know, those are the, those things that it's just someone has to decide on their own. Mm -hmm. You know? And it, actually, I feel like me ever trying made her not do it. You mm -hmm. know? <laughs> Some people... <laughs> So, understandable. Thank you, Aaliyah. Aaliyah Roel, fourteen, wants to know what was your favorite and least favorite photo shoot. Um, I think my favorite was. Can I say my the video shoot was my favorite? But yeah, but the video shoot was my favorite. Like I liked the way I looked. I felt like that was one of my more empowering moments where I even mm. got to display that I can emote outside of just. You know, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and I love the first. I love the first shoot as far as like images goes. That's like one of the more, yeah. Like mm -hmm. I really enjoy that image, and you know what else? I actually like my last one, the Cover Girl one, because mm -hmm. I was a mess and I still pulled it off. I don't care what I said. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so Steph, oh, and what was your least favorite? Oh, my least favorite. Please don't say the gargoyle one. No. The, mm, you know what? I did the best with the gargoyle one. I guess they picked a good shot. Thank God. Oh, my least favorite was the plastic recycling thing. That was a, okay. I don't know. I, I was never feeling that one. <laughs> I remember even on set, I could not bring myself to be like, plastic bottle. What does mm -hmm. a plastic bottle do? <laughs> okay. 
You just post it up. Post it up. <laughs> Steph, that redhead is saying, hi, Lisa. How was it doing the photo shoot with Danielle, winner of Cycle 6? So that was one of some of my favorite moments. And I'm still cool with Danny. Like, that's another, like, she's f a phenomenal woman. Um, and I've gotten to know her. Like, we've, we've done the lunches, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so meeting her then, even then, she was just gracious. And I still had it all together back then in that mm -hmm. shoot. I still had my, my, I had Janet and I had Ebony. Mm -hmm. And those are my, like I said, those are my girls. So, yeah. Yes, okay. It's a good moment. Fitness99 wants to know, what is your favorite moment left on the cutting room floor? Um, maybe... I, you know, I just remember having a really great day on that video shoot. Maybe because Enrique was so cute. <laughs> but I don't know that there was any moments that I remember properly, let's put it that way. Because so much has happened. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and I don't, I don't, I don't remember favorite mm -hmm. moment. Um, hmm. We went to a restaurant one time and they cut that out. <laughs> we were gossiping in the beginning. I think at the very beginning, things were really good for me. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of moments where we bonded and those things weren't shown. Of course. Of course. Of course. Carol on a score is Kiss Flick is asking, did you like the Colleen Quinn fashion show? Oh, was that the one where, where I couldn't walk with the dress? Yeah, I believe so. It was early so, on, and the grand prize was a trip to Paris. Oh, my goodness. That was horrific. That dress was so heavy. And at this mm. point, I hadn't, like, now I would eat that dress. But. <laughs> you better walk. You know, I, I love my runway clients now. So I, mm -hmm. I do a lot of runway, um, which is funny because that was probably the worst I think I did. Mm -hmm. I could not make it down without, like, being, like, you know. Tripping and so, falling and stumbling. That was a hard dress. Fergie. That just was, that dress, <laughs> that dress was heavy. That's what you can't see. Oh, my goodness. That was I have a question. As a model, when you <gasps> run with The garden party. That was my worst moment. I had to the speak. Oh the, the the garden photo shoot when you had to talk right before the runway and you like were like oh the muse mm -hmm. treacherous treacherous awful because at yeah, the time I you stuttered a little bit I just couldn't and I was so I think you know you do these things at a very young age to find yourself to discover yourself I was still finding myself so everything I did was so like for me I was always I just damn so tough on myself and mm -hmm. you know. I, I did anything wrong, and then I did something wrong where everyone could see, and then it was mm -hmm. recorded, and then it was going to be on TV for years mm -hmm. and years. Mm -hmm. I don't watch that show. I don't, I'm not, I don't watch that show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you had to say in that moment? Do you want to, like, freestyle a better version of it in 2021? I don't even remember what I had to say. I saw that thing with my eyes, like, like one time after the show. Like, you know, watching the seasons for me was... It was like watching a horror film. You know, it's one thing, I always say this, it's one thing to go through something like this, but it's another thing to watch yourself go through something like this. Oh, I bet, yeah. And then it's always on TV and everyone's always reminding me. And there's people <laughs> that want to go live with you to talk about it. More, more like, yeah, Better, at least I could give, at least I have a voice. To, and thank you uh -huh. for that. Thank you for this um, no, no, opportunity so because... Welcome. You know, so much, so many things happen, and and that's the other thing. You know, all these people get to form their own ideas. They got mm -hmm. to form their story. They got to tell their side. And I'm just like, you know, for years people would come up to me like, Lisa, it's gonna be okay. I'm like, I just did a big show in Paris. Get away. <laughs> Let them know, Lisa. I'm so enjoying this this that we're getting. Like, I, I love it. What, it's you didn't expect stock. this? No. Well, no. You know, I try not to expect anything so that I could just be fully receptive of what I get. But I just love how confident and happy you are with who you are and your accomplishments and like where you where you were, where you are. Like it's very refreshing to yeah. see. I mm -hmm. mean, we're grown now, right? Yeah. Well, you're you're not there yet. I heard you're a baby. 
Oh my God, I want y'all to stop it. <laughs> Carol on the score kiss lick is saying, How do you feel about your extremely short makeover? I love oh, it. Pussy cut. I, I have cut my hair so many times over the years, too. I love short hair. I just, mm -hmm. with the curly, curly hair, it wasn't. They could, look, they did me wrong. They did me dirty with that color. They didn't mean to add that, that, I, I don't know what that was. Orange. Can't, they caring me. They caring <laughs> me. <laughs> Any other memories from Makeover Day that you, that, that you want to share with us? About you or other girls in there going bananas? Um, look, I remember poor Bianca when she initially had to get that shave, and we were all like, and she she looked over me and she's like, you know, us island people, and I was like, I don't know, but I'm getting my hair cut too. She's like, it's not the same. <laughs> Bianca's from the island. <laughs> Bianca's from Turks and Caicos, and I'm from Jamaica, so you know. It's true, like, when you don't cut your hair, you don't touch your hair, you know, you're not supposed to. But you're too white, so I'm going to know hair, you're going to grow a lot. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Yeah. How long did you keep, how long did you keep that shortcut? Um, I, so, so, it, I let it grow back, I was trying to let it grow back, and I went back to, ah, let me tell you my little story about my hair. So I went to major models, and they had, they they were like, all right, we gotta do something with this. I don't know what this is. And they they cut my hair, but they cut it with the short short and the the hair. I had everybody trying to work with me. And I had the initial some people don't have you could check the timestamp. I had the initial Rihanna cut. Let it be known, Lisa. I had the little ooh, Talk and then shit. She had Bite your lip. She had it and then she got that look. And, you know, I'm not knowing that, you know, you never know this, this industry. Like, mm -hmm. maybe I was the model that she saw. And she was like, let me get that cut. You never know. Like, I think like that. But maybe she really just, it just happened that way. But Can someone ask Rihanna for us? Did, it, did she see Lisa Jackson? I Jackson's wonder. With it first? I want to know. I would love to know. Because I've, I've run into Rihanna. She is so amazing. She is so fly. You said you oh, met her. Goodness. I've met her. Yep. I met her. I want to meet her. But like, so I've, I've, I've had some run-ins with a lot of people now. You know, mm -hmm. it's only but so big. And if you travel in these circles, mm -hmm. you run in. But it, if she's one of the ones, like, oh my gosh, she does take up a whole room. Beautiful, I'm beautiful dead. energy. Oh Oof. Her and you know, Beyonce even gave me a little moment. I have a moment. What did you and Beyonce do? So <laughs> you can't even find it anymore. But I did. I was a part of the filming of Death to Autotone for Jay Z. And I had the short hair then. And um, Beyonce had came on set afterwards. So the, all the girls flocked to her. And I was like, I'm not going to be that girl. I'm not that girl. And I don't know if it was respectful or disrespectful, but I just didn't want to be the girl that was like, Beyonce, oh my God. And right. So girl, like, you here? I'm here too. See, I, I'm that girl too, but I ain't running up to nobody. You should be running yeah. up to me. I'm very, but I'm not, but I'm not like that either. Like, I'm still respectful. Like, I, I saw her, I smiled, I left because I'm a professional model. Like, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, you did a good a, job. About a week later, I was out at the club. And mind you, I'm young, so I went out. And they were there as well. But again, I'm just minding my business. And they're walking out. And I see Jay and I do like the heads up. And he goes like this. And the Beyonce pops out. Like, who's you, Jay? popping his head too and she sees me and I see her and I just smile and she comes over and she's like you were the girl at the photo shoot nice to meet you I'm Beyonce I'm like hi, hi being Beyonce I'm Lisa mm -hmm. <laughs> like how gracious how beautiful that she did mm -hmm. that she leaves everyone's like oh, Beyonce knows you you know maybe it's like the boss of the night like you know me and Beyonce we go way back I oh, love how Beyonce's head just popped out. <laughs> yeah, but she was so cute. She loves her hands. Hair. Her hands are so soft. Right but how, how beautiful of her to be like, I'm Beyonce. Like, I, I know. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, what up? I'm Cassandra Jackson from Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, and you haven't heard of me. <laughs> uh, uh, that is so special. That is so special. Yeah. I'm still keen at Beyonce after, after, you, after Jay acknowledged you. She popped up and came. See, that? See that? That's how I know. That's how I know Beyonce got good pussy. That, that that's <laughs> how I, I know. I know it is a place. It's heaven or earth. 
she don't play she's by a real, man. But she's a real one. She's a real one. You know, that like everyone says she's kind and all that. Mm -hmm. She is humble. Like she didn't have to do that. She could have walked oh. right past me like mm -hmm. why have you never said hi to me? But she took that that space and I was like, Cool, you know? And that's you know, that's just one of my little stories that you know, yeah. yeah i lived in new york 12 years it happens okay where were we we didn't got off course okay this <laughs> is the lost levi saying finally i want to know if she was as pissed as i was that ant that the antm version of enrique's video did not go global lisa was fierce in it any thoughts on this well you know my sean paul video went global <laughs> Talk your shit. Bite your lip. Yes. That's um, a car. You know, Enrique, but like all of that was, you know, big just on its own for being on the show, right? So mm. I, I have no, this kind of things I don't really think about. Mm -hmm. But you know, okay. it was amazing that it happened. Yeah. I got to, I got to stop him with my leg. <laughs> <laughs> In one Mark day. Marquez Reynolds 99 wants to know, what was your reaction to Heather passing out during the taping of this video? So I think Heather, we were all downstairs and we were getting really warm. But I, oh yeah. You know, when it happened, I remember us all being kind of shocked. It was just one of those things. You know, we all, there's a lot that happens on this show, but once you spend that much time kind of, together all the time you care so it's like what's mm -hmm. going on i hope she's okay <sighs> that kind of energy of just concern yeah. yeah now when i spoke to sarah sarah said that she got into with one of the producers over that incident do you remember this were you witness to this this meet this, this... Mm -hmm. what happened so i don't want to quote sarah because my memory's a little foggy but she said when heather passed out i guess the response from the production um, wasn't the most um, attentive, and she said that she got into it with one of the producers regarding Did that. She... Mm -hmm. Okay, so because I had, and I, if I remember correctly, I was in my own separate like thing because I was the main girl at the at the video shoot. No, so like that. Girls, this is why these girls <laughs> were talking about. This is why these girls were around me. No, so I have my oh, own shit, little Lisa. separate. Uh -huh, this was uh -huh. You had your own right? quarters. Mm -hmm. I have my own little thing. If I remember properly, I do remember uh -huh. feeling not with them because I was also shooting in a different area. And I was actually speaking to the main producer who I ran into after the show. He tried to get me a campaign thing. So it was, it was like, you know, I just remember being in that like little scene, you know, having my own little moment. I don't remember that as much. Uh, okay. I don't remember the drama. I do remember I do remember Heather being not okay and feeling concerned mm -hmm. about that. I don't remember the drama that ensued. Fair. <laughs> um, Damic84 is asking, I'm curious to know about the desert shoot. Did you really struggle? The desert shoot? You know, it was one of those things where I thought I was killing it. <laughs> I thought I was out there doing my thing. It was one of those moments where they were like, and your legs were misplaced. I was like, I remember that was the first time I realized, uh-uh, nah, uh I was standing up, I was sitting down, I was twirling. I gave you more than this. Why did you pick this one with my legs all crunched up? But what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jimmy Pegasus is saying, I love that name for whoever that is. Jimmy Pegasus. That is yeah. sick name. <laughs> I love that. That is amazing. <laughs> Like Jimmy that. Pegasus is saying, hi, Lisa. <laughs> so Jay gave you great feedback from the recycling photo shoot, which you touched on a little bit earlier. They are asking, why do you think they chose such an average shot of you? And this is the one of you posted up on the wall, your hand on your hip, and let your well, back on flip. You know, I could say maybe that was one of the shoots where I had the least energy. Even remembering gotcha. being on set, I just, I wasn't inspired by it. I don't remember it being particularly exciting. Like, I, you know, you see some of these other girls, like, Jenna had the best, uh, to me, Jenna had the best one with the cardboard and the setup, and the, it was mm -hmm. just more beautiful. And then there I am, I'm like, I have a here. Mm -hmm. And you know, and this happens even now professionally. You can get on set and everything could be right. And if you're mm -hmm. just not there, you, it's really hard to, uh, look, 
I can fake it now, but there's been moments where I just couldn't get it, you know, it's behind the eyes or something. I don't know. I don't know if that really happens, but it happens. Which reminds me of my question earlier when you had your revelation of what was your least favorite photo. Um, as a model, do you guys get like rehearsal or like creative briefings on like what you're about to walk into, whether it's for a photo shoot or a runway? Like, because what made me think of it, if you were in doing a, a runway, which you've done a bunch of them, do you get a chance to practice in the garments, to, like feel what it feels like, the heels, um, whatever it is they're trying to do? Well, well, it it dep- like when I have a photo shoot, normally for a job, sometimes. If I'm, or sometimes I've been a part of the production now, mm-hmm. right? So you, you, they'll send you a mood board. They'll let you know what, what, what mm-hmm. essence. So you kind of know what you're walking into. My thing is I just try to be as fresh and as prepared for anything kind of thing. Got but when you. I do a runway, like, you know, when I do the blondes or something, sometimes they, their looks are so extravagant. Like, I will be behind you. The, the backstage, you know, doing my walk, doing my twirl, trying to get it, make sure I feel good because those runways are insane and those heels are even more insane. And it's, you know, you gotta, you gotta know like how you feel in the garment, mm-hmm. especially Definitely. when I've done huge gowns. Oh my lord, you just know you. Some of these gowns, they, I swear, they make them so they're hard. <laughs> like. Hmm. And you know what? I also want to know this before I jump back in, into the fan questions. We know that the creative, the the creative on top model is over the top because, of course, it's a reality TV show. From your experiences, have you ever had any crazy creatives while working as a model that kind of reminded you of the zaniness of top model? See, that's when you know. I think top model is just so over the top. It's not like that, or it's you know the China thing where they had a flinging flinging around knowing I'm scared of heights there's no way I was gonna do this shoot and look Mm -hmm. normal there was no way like that's Mm -hmm. not even first off half the things they do even if they're gonna mimic you fine they're not gonna do anything that's liable we had Mm -hmm. signed a contract saying we could die on set so they were like let's fling those bitches out of the fucking you know airplane oh my god yeah she can care yeah (laughs) and like you know realistically if you're on a shoot they don't want their models scared of mess. They want their mm-hmm. products to be beautiful and to come across mm-hmm. as such. And that means the model better be comfortable. Mm-hmm. And for the most part, I, I think the most uncomfortable times is maybe runway when the shoes don't fit or when it's winter and they really want you on the top build skyscraper in the middle of winter to get that. And they're doing swimsuits and you're freezing. I've had moments where I'm cold and I'm outside, like shit like that. But nothing crazy. Nothing crazy or dangerous. Or dangerous, no. Okay. And if it is, maybe they, they would do something for like a music video if they're being crazy. But really anything. I think the craziest thing I ever did for a job was I went to Lebanon <laughs> during during some difficult times. And yeah. it was like we had to sign a paper saying like there might be bombings and like we were going to Beirut and like I was shooting L'Oreal so of course I was gonna risk my limbs and leg. <laughs> she understands the assignment. <laughs> Girl, no. Mm-mm. It was Girl, beautiful. I, Actually, I it was bet. beautiful. Like the city itself was beautiful but we were mm-hmm. in this area and the water, you'll never touch warmer water. So, really? yes, it's just so stunning and, and the men and you're going to get some good, um, what's that? Ooh, falafel. Mm. Oh, I love falafel. Oh, <laughs> I, I love, love falafel. falafel. And you, Lebanon, mm-hmm. you go there, you're going to have the best falafel in the world. I, I'll say that. One thing about modeling is the opportunity to go all around mm-hmm. the world and back and some more. What place has <laughs> the cutest men? I don't want to say. I don't know. All around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't find, find my baby. baby. I, don't I don't know it. I don't, I don't know, know why. <laughs> why he's going away. I don't know where he can be. Oh, my, my baby. baby. <laughs> but I'm going to find. Uh, that bitch was determined. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You know what? You don't know. I've been to Italy. They've been gorgeous. I've been to, you know, shit. I've been to 
South Africa, L- London. You get you some fine black men in London. They don't tell you that. Um, oh no, <laughs> I've dated one. He's a model, actually. I ain't gonna say his name. You see, but uh, I've been to Greece and some some beautiful men. Them Greek men are beautiful. Um, Italian men in Italy. Ooh. Yeah, Italian. But that's a couple of cute with some Grecian sauce, yeah. bitch. What? Yeah, but you know what? We don't give enough credit to America because any of the points of New York and like mm-hmm. LA, you see that diversity, so you get a little mm-hmm. bit of everything. So you know, we're not too oh different. yeah, I've had some fun times in New York City. <laughs> and if you want them sweet and cute, you can go to Canada. Oh, For real. The world, nah, yeah, yeah. They're mixed up there too. You get all kinds of diversity, and they'll be kind and respectful. <laughs> so you can bring home to mama. Fitness <laughs> ninety nine wants to know how was China. We've heard many stories about people's experiences about China. What were yours? So in China, um, interestingly enough, because I was eliminated first there, so the experience mm-hmm. of you know we went to the forbidden uh, temple city, a city, mm-hmm. and. That was beautiful, of course. And, you know, there was something really powerful about seeing those statues. You, you know, I don't even believe in all that. And I believed in all that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I got eliminated, so I got to kind of explore the city. One of the first nights I was out, I got, like, two chaperones. And we went out, and now I was free. And I actually went to their flea market and bought a bunch of, like, I think, it was, was it in Shanghai still? Maybe it was Beijing. We went to the market and we bought like the cheap Prada and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, it looked good. Those they have some good takes. Um, mm-hmm. But I, one of the days in Shanghai, I wore high heels out for fun. And mind you, I was getting, I was like all eyes on me. I was, I was that girl. Yeah. yeah. We had, but if we went out. We went to eat. I had my. These, those pots where I got to be there, you know, a little bit more. And as the girls came, then they became a little more strict about staying in the hotels. Mm-hmm. And then it was limited to that and hanging with the production. But I had my little moment there, and I love China. I loved it for that. Yeah. So. Okay. So, baby underscore prime wants to know, hey, Lisa, why do you think you were eliminated? You could have easily won this whole competition. You know, if I went back now, all these years later, there are many critiques I have for myself. When you're in that bubble, Mm -hmm. you forget that there's a world outside that bubble. It becomes all about winning. So, like I said, I was tough on myself. I was too tough on myself. I forgot to just enjoy that moment Mm -hmm. and have that moment and and own that moment. You know, I didn't Mm -hmm. own it. And um when Tyra said I didn't have the confidence, she was right. I didn't have confidence mm-hmm. from the first day when I cried, when I got on that show, I really didn't believe at that point. Like I said, in the beginning, getting through the casting, I felt confident, but the second I was in the house and in front of the judges and all that, those layers, I I didn't see me for who I was. You know, it took me years to see me for who I, I am. And, you know, I've overcome so many things. Like I said, with mental health with understanding yourself, with growing up, with being a, just a complete person. And I'm still not there. I'm still mm-hmm. not there. But, you know, I just, if I were to go back to myself, I would have just been like, enjoy this. Just enjoy mm-hmm. it more. You right. take it so seriously. And it wasn't so serious. It really wasn't. It didn't have to be that serious. I do think girls who are way more confident on top models go a whole lot further like I do think that's something that like even I think Tyra Banks really looks for like if her photo may be effed up but if she's in here and taking control of the moment and is confident and is smiling and nice then you know I may want to keep her yeah and I I I I would you know it's funny because it's like I think you know if you get to go back or I think Bianca went back right there's like you get Mm -hmm. to kind of redeem yourself a little bit Mm -hmm. and if I went back now, I don't know what they would get. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to go back. You've already. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back. But I'm just saying, you know, you go back with a little more knowledge. Plus, you know, like I said now, a lot of girls can go on the show now. And after watching everybody go, it's like, it's, it's, I think someone's still walking apart now. Mm-hmm. It's different did they ask? Did they ask you to go back for All Stars? Actually, no. They asked me to go back for Modelville. 
when I didn't do that. And my agent was really big on separating me from that mm-hmm. whole experience because I was doing mm-hmm. things that, you know, it wasn't good that I was on there. So I actually spent a lot of time in Europe because I could work big names and not have that kind of follow Attached to you. Yeah. So Kimmy Arrow wants to know, did Lisa walk the final runway? I did. I did walk the final runway. How was that? It was that moment where I said everyone kind of, Miss Shay had this moment with me. So we had kind of accepted at that point, you know, it is what it is. So mm-hmm. to be a part of it and not to be held up in your room was also nice. And that's when mm-hmm. I, I, that's how I got to be at the city, at the Forbidden City. And mm-hmm. so, you know, it's like at that point, Point, I was in China I had done something amazing I had to collect myself and realize that so doing that walk and seeing the girls and being mm-hmm. in that presence I think at that point I was kind of like okay this is it okay yeah you know it was good okay all right we're almost to the end and then I have a couple of things up my brain that I want to whip out your way very soon pause so, before I get off, Did you say so, pause? I did. <laughs> you ain't gonna pause. Oh, no. I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna, press I'm gonna, play, gonna, continue and repeat. Oh, no. I'm gonna press play in a motherfucking millisecond. Girl. Girl. I remember the night it happened. I was in my bed. I probably was, at the time I was dating, so I probably was freshly fucked at the time. And all of a sudden, my Instagram just lights up like Christmas. I just get, I just hear ding, 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 ding. So I'm thinking at the time, Lord, what the hell did I say that has me in trouble with somebody now? What did I do? What did I do? But girl, I, I had missed it, but the girls were like, do you follow Lisa Jackson? You need to go to her Instagram right now because mama is live and mama is giving the things of the thing. And the kid, I, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it live, but the girls had screen recorded it and sent it to me. And I was like, that was a mess. Actually, you know what's funny about that? That was That's more hard. of a uh-huh. joke. That was more of a joke between me and my friend because we were like, what can you say to get? Like, can you just say anything? Because, you know, a lot of these things go crazy. But I was I was a little tipsy just having fun. But I didn't say anything too bad. I rewatch it. I was like, oh, that was so bad. <laughs> okay, maybe I watch it fully. I was like, good. <laughs> oh, is, is there anything you want to talk more about that moment? I just, that moment should never happen. Okay. But, you know, that's what happened. 20, 20, sitting in your house, drinking some tequila, living mm-hmm. your best life. <laughs> Can we come up with that one? <laughs> okay. And so, to wrap up, to wrap up. How about, how about that I really had a moment, though? But, you know, we were, we said, oh, how outlandish do you, can you really be? Me and my two two people watching. I can't believe that even happened, that it went Oh, there. no. The, let me tell you, the children, the children that are watching and that watch, they were... They were. I, I had about at least, honestly, I'll tell you no lie, honestly, at least 20 different inboxes about... Wow. Yes. It got, mm-hmm. so it really got out like that. No, but you know what? I said everything in a, in a state of mind that was just like... Because, you know, you see how my reaction is. I just found certain things to be what they are. They play, and it's almost like a trolling a little bit like mm-hmm. how much shit they've used against me to get look at i think i'm owed millions at this point i think we all are i'm ready to co- have a, a top model army go get our money <laughs> <laughs> a top model militia <laughs> like where my money at fuck that hundred thousand like you really have had me on this on air and you know like i said with models now and i know my worth so it's like damn you really got me Give me for my money. Give me my money. <laughs> Kidding. How much money do you think between syndication, licensing, Stop. Streaming... Don't make me mad. I, I'm being positive. Look at I, I That's why if, in the morning. I met if I was on top model. My green tea. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. If I was on top model, I would use that name to the day I die. Because I'm like, these, I'm not going to say who the contestant is. I'm not going to say who the contestant is. I'll let her say her own story, but on a phone conversation, and I don't mind saying this because she shared it with somebody else who was in the room that we were speaking to, and she said that, I'm not going to say the the executive producer's name, but she said an executive producer told them, it was a group of people, "Um, thank you so much for making this show a success because I'm able to put my kids through school now. And she was like, 
motherfucker. What, what about us? What about us? Like, all the mental... Ha Listen, when you break down how many girls... I'm I'm one of the like, luckier ones, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I always knew in some level that my bigger goal was to travel the world, to be something great. I, and I'm still on that mission to find mm -hmm. myself, and, and not just for myself, a greater impact. So this stuff was really small potatoes compared to my greater story, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but when you... <laughs> You look back and you see how many girls have been truly affected. I mean, damn, one of the girls ended up in jail all messed up. Like, these girls really, because these things, it never leaves you, right? It never leaves you. And at the same time, you know, it's hard to explain to people because, yes, good things did come out of this as well. So it's one big contradiction story it's hard because it's like it wasn't that bad paradox. But, but but it but it is yeah it's like but it, it it's still like i gave so much of myself mm -hmm. and i'm still you know no matter what i do around i think may every year i'm gonna probably be on tv all mm -hmm. around the goddamn world and people are gonna still associate me to that girl which that's who i, I hate when people try to dismiss me. that's who i i was then i've grown from there but I, you know, it's it's a shame because you're still affected by it in some mm -hmm. way. We all are. Look at to this day, they still want to know. I still get Lisa. How's Tyra? I'm like, I don't know how Tyra is. We don't talk. Like, <laughs> I'm kidding, but you know, like people are still fascinated by it, and it's still such a big part of your. It becomes it becomes mm -hmm. such a bigger part of the story than yeah. you ever imagined, mm -hmm. and. Um, and yet you don't get the rewards that other things like this normally would give, given mm -hmm. all that we've given to that show, to mm -hmm. use our faces, our names, and our stories. And um, I think it's really unfortunate, actually, because a lot of girls have lost more than those that have won. A lot of girls have lost. A lot of girls have been used. A lot of girls have been, you know, tossed aside and went mm -hmm. up there with false beliefs. And you don't know how this has affected them in the bigger grander scheme because we were all so young mm -hmm. we st our brains haven't even fully formed half of us you know a 20 yeah. brain is done so it's just it's it makes an impact and it's really unfortunate there's no way to redeem that in any in any capacity mm -hmm. so i've always been a kind of voice for that a little bit and i know some people look at it like she's really gonna say that yes i'm really gonna say that because that's what needs to be really said but well that's fine you know well, here's my last question about Top Model. If you were standing before Tyra Banks right now, what would you say to her? Again, you know, over the years, you lose that thing when you mm -hmm. have done major things and met major people, bigger people, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't feel any one. I don't even feel any one way. Okay. That's the thing. I don't really feel anything towards her personally. Like I said, it's always been a thing where you go back and forth. Like, but well, was it for the show? It was the times, blah, 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 blah. And maybe mm -hmm. I would ask her. Maybe it would be more of that. I have no negativity. I don't have time for negativity either. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what was going on? How do you feel? I want her, I want you to do an interview with Tyra. Check you know she that. called me. You know she called me. Really? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I feel like a broken record every time somebody. I'm like, yeah, she called me. Is that and, people ask you that a lot? Mm hmm. And yeah. you know what she said that when you were talking that re I remember from our conversation. I don't know if I put this in the video I put up because um, it's on my YouTube. You can see a little bit of us interacting and talking. But she told me that she was very happy that this these lives I was doing was happening because she under she understands that back then when the show was out that the girls did not have any outlets to talk or to capitalize or to voice their own opinions about the show because social media wasn't a thing. And she, she said on record that she's happy now that girls are able to voice their own opinions. And I think even that's more powerful than you know, because like maybe a lot of it, even that moment, you get kind of bottled up and I feel like it's my lab I can go. But really, do I feel any that way on that level in real life? No, how mm -hmm. can you? It's so many feelings that go with this because mm -hmm. there's a level of like maybe that was the day I was like where's my money at mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I wake up like but you know what the reality is is I've done so many cool things outside of that mm -hmm. because of that a lot of cool things a lot of cool things and and you're right there's a certain um 
this is I, look like that's who I was too and so people get to meet me and then they see this other stuff and so there's mm-hmm. different levels of just like would I meet her would I let's just be like sorry where my money at <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would just be like look you know uh, I, what did you really think? What were you really considering with these girls? Did you really care about Ebony in uh-huh. a negative way? That's my stuff, my little stuff. And now we've seen so much stuff come out about her and how she was, and not just her, the show. And it's really, it, you know, these are the things we all, all saw. Mm-hmm. But it took everyone else to get to that consciousness to even be like, huh, maybe that wasn't right. Maybe that was a little mm-hmm. weird. Why were they treated that way? And even that brings some kind of respite and thing to the girls that have been maybe like, okay, someone sees our side. And that 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 is that is invaluable. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I think yeah, that's that why I'm full so circle. Yeah, that was so <laughs> good. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so I wanna know about your time on Project Runway because you went on there after Top Model. You were a winning model, right? Get your money. One of the winning models. <laughs> of the winning models. I just, I'm just saying crazy stuff. I'm reading the little... Oh, girl, yeah. They be having to go on in the chat. I'd be like, can y'all please behave? I don't got time for this shit today. I'm, I'm trying kidding. to focus just... and get through this stuff. But, like, you know, <laughs> but, but, but am I great? Like, people have asked me, would I go back and take it back? Sometimes I think of what my career would have been you know, because I've mm-hmm. actually been turned away from big clients because of it. Mm-hmm. Just not knowing me on the show, just because you were on that model, you will not be doing Gucci campaign. <laughs> you know, yeah, told you. <laughs> but, but, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> in America, uh, but, but. <laughs> Was that? Did you say that because you've done it outside of America? I've done my work, you know. Ah! But but you know. But I will say this. <laughs> but I will say this. I will say that. Like at the same time, it's a part of my story now. Would I? Would I be who I am? Would I be where I am? Would I think the way I think? You can't take back your own story. And yeah. I'm learning that now as I get older. Like no, that's my story, and that's mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Somebody else's story is much worse than that. Like what? What happened? I got to do something really cool and really unique right. in the grand scheme of things. So, no, mm-hmm. I don't think I would take it back either. Yes, ma'am. This is so beautiful. <laughs> but your time on Project Runway, because you've done uh, such amazing things, you've been dropping little nuggets and stories here throughout the chat. A lot of people wanted to know about you being on Project Runway. How was that? Um, I can say that that was amazing, right? Mm-hmm. So... That show was really more because you don't, as a model, you don't have to be the personality. So I was mm-hmm. a, a, having a blast in the mm-hmm. background. You know, I was getting the on, like with the hairdresser was my babe. Like I, I have a story with Heidi. You know, we I had like this little dress that had little cutouts, and she's like, oh, I just love this little cutout. And as she's doing this, I'm like, hey, Heidi Klum is touching my boob. <laughs> And she's like, oh, oh, I'm touching your boob. I'm like, you're touching my boob. And everyone's like, what is like, our boob touch by Heidi Klum? Like, you know, there's so many uh, elements. That was a great show to be a part of. Mm-hmm. I, I, I did get to win. That was pretty cool because, you know, I was, I, I was, I didn't initially want to do it. I was like going back oh. with my agent and she was like, I was like, yeah, but you know, I would rather you know, just mother. she's like, this could turn out really cool for you. And you know what? It turned out to be super cool for me. I have made friendships to this day that I still have. So I can only say good things about Project Runway. And, you know, we got a little payday. So no, 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 right. no shame. I love that. I love Heidi. She's a good one. Uh, comp- Actually, I've shot with her after that. So uh-huh. that was that was um, a real moment for me. Like, I'm actually, I didn't act right because it was one thing to see her on the runway and it was one thing to be working with her. And that was when I was fangirling a little. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Hello. I was, I was literally like trying to put on my lash and like, mm-hmm. I was like, wait, I gotta. Strategically place the camera. Hi, Lisa. Uh-huh. Hi. I gotta go do something right fast. I'll be right back. What? <laughs>
You look amazing. Oh, amazing. You look you, so baby. good. So do you. And congratulations he, on everything. Ah, thank you. <laughs> he me and he's like, are you going to be watching the live? I'm like, of course. And he's like, do you want to come on and surprise me? So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hi, Ben. How are you? How's everything going? I'm, everything is going good. Now I'm, like I'm you're here glowing my... from your soul. Like... You know, that's what happens when you meditate more. Oof, I've been meditating. Me the way. I've been, like I said, I've been sipping my tea, drinking my water, mm. minding my minding my business. That's the key. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you're happy. Yeah, I mean, well, what about you? What's going on with everything? We, you know, it's funny that we don't talk enough. We do the DMs. I mean, we do, do yeah. the DMs. Yeah. I don't really. I, who do I talk? Ange, Ange, um, and then um isis but like everybody it's like the dms back and forth but like right. not really i'm coming to miami though so you know what i mean but... <laughs> well, we already said to... the three of us is gonna run and roam and do our things so I'm down when are you going to miami i, I want to go this summer um my brother has a place out there so i was like well i might as well just catch a flight you know so come yes. like, uh, <laughs> come come now yeah. I, I need friends out here. I just got out here, so really? Mm -hmm. I um I gotta leave this lash alone. I <laughs> I need a break. I need I know. A break. my hair is just evolved. No, it looks like, amazing. This, this Miami looks, weather. It's good. Oh, yeah. It's just giving like sex. I think that's just rolled it out of bed. <laughs> it's good. So Bianca, listen, thank you so much for doing this for me and with no, us here in the bathroom. <laughs> so Lisa told us that you guys became better friends, closer friends once yeah. you guys got signed to the same agency and y'all got shipped off to South Africa. Tell us about your experience. <laughs> uh, when I say the, a lot of people hate me. But the only person that should <laughs> or would not be mad about hating me is Lisa. Because I was like, looking back on it, I was terrible. And Lisa mm -hmm. is such, a, like, if anyone ever asked, I'm always like, she's such a good person. Like, she has such mm -hmm. a good soul. And you know that, just like speaking to her in the first couple of minutes. Like, she's just a good person. You know, there's a lot Thank of good you. people in the world. It's mm -hmm. true. You know, I don't say anything unless I mean it, child. Uh, we know. We, 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 we know. know. <laughs> And she's just we such know. a great person. And the universe is so funny. funny. Of course, right? Of course. Right? That's what I'm saying. Initially, I was like, nah, Bianca. Right? And we ended up <laughs> in South Africa. Like, yes. For real, we're going to live together. Yeah. And from the moment she opened the door, it was like, what do you yeah. mean? Like, yeah. so much love. Oh, yeah. my God. We need to go back to South Africa together. That's that was a reunion. So much fun. I mean, you know they remember us, right? Of course. <laughs> the, the idea that the first Mr. person Gilbert. you like fake beef with yeah. is the person that we end up at the same agency with, and then travel mm -hmm. to Africa with and become sisters. Um, yeah. A large part of that, I think, is because no one will ever understand our experience. No. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, we but do you ever remember the booker that signed us? He vouched yeah. for us. Like, he was yes. like, no. And we went to yeah. South Africa. We came back. And he wasn't even there no more. Yeah. So we were just Amen. meant to. I feel that. I feel we were yes. meant to have that moment. And we had so many beautiful moments. Agreed. We, I mean, we laughed. We cried together. We, you know, like, just great times. And top models, many things, child. But it, it definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it, I love it for the experiences they get. I mean, I watched, I mean, I listened and watched Lisa's whole interview and like the experiences, the opportunities we may not, may have or may not have had, the people that we may not or may not have met. Exactly. It just, it made those things happen and I'm yeah. forever mm -hmm. grateful for that. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. And, we're bound, and we're also tied together forever. Because of forever. That. Forever. We can't yeah. have they're going to be showing that 100 years from now yeah. to the universe. There's a clause that says the universe and beyond. So, Does it say that? <laughs> so we're going to be a Mars girl talking about, I said I never. I never read the contract. I was so excited 
to make my dream come true. I just signed my life away, child. We signed it. We signed it away. <laughs> Look, I got my hang ups on that, but I'm over it. I am over it. Look at you know, go. She, she's pissed about it. Lisa's like, they, they robbed us. <laughs> well, like I said, when you know your words. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I just, I, I choose to just accept the good out of it because if if I if I sat on that idea, I would be in my house depressed, crying, frustrated. I did that for both of us. On social media, <laughs> upset, angry, starting unnecessary social media whole... wars, being bitter, yeah. and bags underneath your eyes, wrinkles on your right. neck, split right. There's no space for that. There's no space. We're so it's glad like... you didn't go down that route, Bianca. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no space for that. There really isn't. And I, I you know, I don't even feel it towards Tyra as an individual it's just the concept like what we you know it's outside of her too these things are bigger than one person you know it's so funny that. not to backtrack to y'all interview but I was talking to y'all while y'all were talking to each other yeah. and when the conversation about Tyra came up because I came in late in, it's perception right so in my mind I always thought that like Tyra favored you like I thought she loved you and to here you have a completely different experience with her as opposed to what I perceive your relationship to be. Yeah. It's just, I always thought that you guys were like similar, you know, like, really? I don't know, like personality wise. And I'm like, I thought that was her girl. Like she loved Lisa. <laughs> and it's, like, it's funny to hear that, you know, like perception. You know, it's yes. maybe I, I, and I said this to people, they're like, you know, it was that I was intuitive to know outside of me what yeah. I saw with Ebony or what I saw, mm. you know, I was always that person. And to this day, maybe that's been a thing for me where I can see it outside of the realm of what maybe even was directed towards me. Yeah. And, 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 and everyone sees it now. They're, they've seen different things now. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. it is what it is kind of stuff. Right. Bianca, before I let you go, I want to know. We didn't let her go nowhere. What you mean? <laughs> I have other surprises for over. you. <laughs> I have other surprises inside of my um, lunch box. Oh, you have oh. more surprises? I yes, yes, yes. You know, I, I like this though. You know, it's Christmas. Little... It's Christmas every day for me. Everybody gets something. I love it. I love it. Tell <laughs> me, how is it planning a wedding? Like I'm. We talked about it. I'm jealous. I'm living vicariously through you. How is it being a bride, a soon to be bride, and all this planning and these photos you're taking? Is just, woo! It is um, the most stressful experience. Honestly, I would do top model again before I wanted to plan another wedding. Like, this is one and done. <laughs> um, it is, I knew it was going to be stressful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I wanted to experience this. So I don't know if you guys know this, but my fiance and I have been together for like 13 years. So this is like, wow. No, I didn't know what? this. Lisa, you've met him. I met him? Yes. You know, I've met a lot of people with you. OK. She knows, she knows half of New York. She knows all of New York. This don't girl. Don't tell it all, Don't tell it all. <laughs> you have so, much, so many friends, so many people, right. I, in a good way, like. Yes. But uh, we've been together for a really long time. So before he got off his knee, I was like, okay, wedding's planned, done, <laughs> we're set. Wow, um, that's beautiful, be Bianca. Being in the process of it, you do, like, you lose friends. Um, like, I, pe really? I ask people to no longer be a part of my wedding. Um, it's just a lot. And I think what I've learned is it's your moment. No one else cares. Yeah. Like, people are excited for you. They're happy for you. But, girl, that's your life. Do your thing. Just tell me what you need me to do. Um, and so it's it's interesting because you want everyone to be as excited as you are as in the thick of things. But they're not. It's your life. Yeah. When they're there, they'll be excited. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, what, nobody wants to be boy. there. <laughs> right. No one wants to shop for the, for the ingredients. They just want to eat the food. Yeah. So... You know, everybody will be there and celebrate. I like the way that looks Yeah. Yes. That sounds about right. I yeah, mean, but I, I love weddings because I went for years without going to weddings. And then I yeah. did the Greek guy once and I wouldn't stop going to weddings. But I love it. I love the whole festive. It's fun. It's fun to go to. It's not as fun to plan. But I'm, I'm really excited. I'm so happy. I'm probably the happiest 
I've ever been. I feel like an adult, y'all. Like, I feel like. No, you're growing up. You're going to force some of us to grow up. Come ah! on, relax. <laughs> Don't grow up. Peter Pan, bitch. Do not grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, so not to. I, you know, I keep my moisturizer close. <laughs> Cackle. Cackle. I love it. Oh. Bianca, Yo. thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you for making me put um some makeup on. And I'm going to send you my YouTube video. So. Yes, I, I want to see. Cause, did you post it? No, child, because you made me think about it. He was like, I mean, if you think it's okay, post it. And I was oh, like, you that doesn't sound. What are we doing? <laughs> right. I wanted to, to um, just journal my entire wedding planning journey and give people the information that I'm learning. So I'm trying to, you know, do my thing too. So. <laughs> well, well, the thing was, she came to me so confident. <laughs> and she was asking for my opinion, but she was also saying, well, right, I'm not redoing this. If I'm just not going to, well, I was yeah. like, okay, well, if you don't want to redo it, then go ahead. I mean. <laughs> he humbled the hell out oh, of me. Okay. Oh, okay. Like, but, oh. but you saw it. You saw the product. I went you... back and looked at it, and I was like, oh. let, me, let, me, let me go do this. <laughs> oh, why? We need to document when we all meet up. That's what, what we need to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to hit you because I'm going to come to Miami either the, the end of this month or the beginning of next. So you you live there, right? Like I live there. Home. I live here. Oh, cool. Girl. I'm coming. Can you, I'm New York. Coming. Can you, can you come like around 4th of July when I'll I'm coming I'll be to there. Atlanta on the 10th. You know, of I've July? never been to Atlanta. you never been to Atlanta? I've never been to Atlanta. Only at the airport. What? Air I love the airport. Great oh airport. no, bro. Atlanta's a Atlanta's a time. Atlanta's I do. You're gonna be time. there on the tenth. The tenth to the twelfth. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm only coming in Wait, for a birthday know. party, and then I'm heading out. Okay. So, but I'm coming. Let's see if we. We're gonna. Yep. We're gonna lock everything in. Okay. I'm gonna be watching. <laughs> I want to see the rest of the surprises. Woo! Thank you so much, Bianca. Bye, y'all. That's my sister. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, that was beautiful. So what, what, the, what else you got for me? Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got cooking. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You know we're going <laughs> to chat after this now. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is oh insane. I know. It's been so long. How so are you doing? Long. Look at you bringing <laughs> the girls together. I, I know. Great. How are you? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm still in LA. That's so a, that's, that's a great place to be. Hey, um, you're in LA? Yes, you didn't know I was in LA. I thought I told you. I saw you were out here and I was like, damn. He should, like he went over and straight went to Jenna. No one's knowing that's my girl. <laughs> I did not know you went to LA. Well, I'm coming back to LA in two weeks, like I am. Let's I please connect. LA. Let's connect, please. Okay, yeah. Let me know, and we can figure shit out. So. Okay, perfect. Okay. But y'all talk. I'm gonna shout and out. And then when you come in to LA, I was just in LA. I was just there. I was really? Known. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was in my own world, anyways. So I think we all are right now. Yeah. I mean, I, think we all, I was I think living we all in LA. Are. I was living there for like a year and a half before here. Oh, when? Uh, just this, like all through 2020. I, I didn't plan to stay so long, but I was right there, Sunset and Vine, when all the riots Word. were going on. And I got, yeah, that was. Oh, my gosh. That was, See, and I stayed downtown, so I was in all of that crazy. You got to go too. downtown. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. I didn't know you. I was, I was all over LA, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was living, I but I was. Yeah. I've been out here for 13 years. Yeah, so since, like, since right after Top Model, I moved out, like, when I could bounce. When, wait, when it aired, I was like, yo, let me come to fucking L.A. <laughs> so are you a big uh, actress? What's going on? Yeah. No, um, I, I'm i taking a break right now, but since I'm hearing all of y'all saying that I need to act and stuff, maybe I'll think about getting back into the into the industry. My boyfriend is a cinematographer, so. Because, well, you we'll know, see. that's what they asked me. What do you, do you think about Umbrella? I just remember you being such a vibrant talent, singing and the whole thing. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, oh, I appreciate it. I've been hearing that a lot lately. I'm like, maybe that's a sign. So we'll yeah. see. And you don't look a day over the day I last saw you. So. Thank you, girl. Oliver <laughs> called me on wash day. Yo, Oliver, my hair is a mess. You called me on wash day, and I was about to get up and wash my hair. And I'm like, oh, my God. Look, I got the clips in it. Look. You look fine. <laughs> I tried to have my hair do something. Thank you. But even in Miami, <laughs> it always becomes that, I don't know. Yeah. You know, so. so that's so we funny. All here. I'm like, sweating. I'm like, thank you. Girl, the frizz is real. The frizz, the frizz is real. Like my shrink is. <laughs> maybe we'll. Ooh. Maybe we just bring that back. Maybe that's just. The yeah, look. my shrink is. Twenty twenty one. Frizz it. Oh, I know. Wow. <laughs> I hate that y'all were here, yo. We could have been done. Here. We we all I'm kind of. Know, I'm coming back. Gonna... Yes. Okay. Yeah. You gotta hit me up and give me like the exact date so I can make sure that. Like, no, I, I got you. No, I got you. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. So good to it's see so y'all. I can't you. believe it's been so long. It's been it's been like thirteen think. years or something. It's been four it's been years. a while. Because I didn't even get to see you when I went to New York, like right after Top Model. Yeah. Well, actually, mm -hmm. right after Top Model, I spent so much time overseas. That even when I was oh, in okay. New York, it was like work back to overseas. Yeah. So like yeah. there was a period where I just lost. I I think I I lost connect with almost everyone outside of like Bianca. Mm. Truly. Um, but I'm that kind of person. Like I cling to one. Like even all my friends from high school, I got that one friend that I go to. But she has to connect with everybody else, so I can always mm -hmm. you know, get all the. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes all sense. Yeah. Wait, I wanted to tell you though. I feel you on the losing of the jobs from being on Top Model. Like I lost a couple of like, not being able to be in a couple of really nice campaigns because they found out about Top Model. So I feel like that's happened to a lot of us. It's, it's very unfortunate. It's really unfortunate yeah. because that's how it was for us. But now it's yeah. the other way around, right? Having that social, because now yeah. it comes with that social media presence that we also didn't have Instagram mm -hmm. to kind of have that brand and, you know, like right. now you go on there you probably have overnight a hundred thousand followers and um right. we missed out on that because we were just we were just right there what we have facebook we're right there we were right i still there. have my facebook from from howard like i can't get back into that because it was my howard um uh email wow. so like that's how early that's we were on social media like i can't like if y'all google or go on uh facebook and do like i think it's like Ambriel crazy top model or something like that. Like you can see all of my college pictures, like all I cannot get rid of it because that was how early. That's I had my wow. college. Yeah. We were, so. we were on reality TV before Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. I like to tell people mm -hmm. that and they get pushed oh, out. And I'm like, yeah, she came out after. I just always find that interesting. She kinda I think or just at the same right. time. So I'm always like yeah, that was a long We was setting trends. I'm 34. We was trending back then. Before trending was trending. Right? We were, <laughs> there was no Twitter. There was nothing no. for us. And all we nothing. got was we were on a reality TV show. That's what we <laughs> Here she go. Brand, right? And now it was, it was horrible. It was horrible in the beginning, well, but like. Wait, you was bringing back some memories. <laughs> <laughs> Like memory this lane. Yeah, this I like this because you know I don't get to do this very often. I really don't. You know, I get it from the outside. You know, people. Yeah. But never mm -hmm. that interior. I've, I've kind of disconnected, part partially because my agents made it. So like, mm -hmm. don't don't yeah. don't be doing no model of it. I don't know what that is. Don't be going on. And I I always wondered if I should have, you know. But now I don't know. Here we are. So no point in looking. Right. Back. But now that we're reconnected, done what you need to do. <laughs> well, every else, before you skedaddle, I have one more surprise that I want to get oh, Lord. in. So we're approaching the two hour mark. Every else, anything you want to say before you go? Anything you heard during our chat? You want to plug? Have at it. No. Just that I love you guys. Oh, I love. I'm real. It was all love. Always. Yes, yes, yes. Now we now that we've reconnected, we have to reconnect. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. And that's I, you know, I think I'll follow you. I've never spent more time in the States than I have this past few years. So it's okay. been, it's been, uh, I think I'm just, a, you know, I, I don't know if you care about saying that, but I, I'm in my 30s now. So it's a whole different evolution of five hey, I'll be 34 well. this year. I'm 34, <laughs> exactly. 33, twice. Three. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm 33 to five. Yes, I'm five. Let's so you know like it's that space of like this is really like homecoming yeah it's nice yeah, yeah. it seems like oliver is bringing us all together so that's a sign that's beautiful yeah oh, go ahead we love please. you oliver Y'all yes. give me too much. I love y'all. <laughs> oh, Ariel! Everyone give Ariel Griffiths and hug. You know, Bye, y'all. Uh, right hold on. Every I'm about to give me my number before I, before I okay. get, get off doing something and then, girl, it's, it's up and then it drops. We love you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I need to change my contacts, Lisa. Oh, I have contact lenses too. I need to change them. I'm not even going to tell you how long I've had these in my eyes. Do you have the two week ones? No, I have the once a day ones. You better get them out your eyes. You know, wear contacts. Sarah? Hi. Yes, oh. I'm to you, Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you? You look so beautiful. Where are you? I'm in Miami right now. I'm trying oh to get gosh. in on this, you know. I'm actually doing some interior designing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. The modeling. Yeah. Modeling's always there. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and how are you? Where are you? I'm good. I'm in New Hampshire. So less glamorous. New I'm Hampshire is gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm in a Wendy's bathroom because I'm driving to Maine for a comedy show. Congrats! Amazing. Yeah. So if anyone's in Portland, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I had to pee. Yes! Yeah. Oh my God, the comments. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, look at all the comments. Oh my God. Wait, I want you to interior. I have terrible interior design. Interior design man has, hi, Ambria. I can come. I mean, I need, I need as much practice. I'm an interior designer's assistant. Oh. But I've been working on some big homes, so. Oh my God. That's amazing. I mean, it's new. It's all new out here. But that's Miami. I think you need more going on. That's yeah. the kind of story here. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we, you were in New York when I was in New York. We should have hung out. I yeah. think. Are you in New York? I am in New York. Yeah. yeah. I love Oh, my God. Come back to New York. I'm always in New York. Always. Yeah. Always. Oh, my God. In fact, I need to go in a couple of weeks. Yeah. That's home. Oh my God, Ambriel, come to New York. Oliver, come to New York. We can all hang out. I know. No, I'm coming. I'm coming to New York this summer. Don't don't ask me when. But come to Miami mm -hmm. first. Okay. I, yeah, We're I'm gonna do a real big. We're doing a real big in Miami. Miami. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh my God, I wish I had like put on any makeup before I did this. <laughs> yes. No, you look beautiful. <laughs> you look fine. Someone You're was like the Wendy's bathroom was okay. literally such, such glamour. The road, the road life. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best rock stars have their moments there. Let's you know, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me real yeah. rock star vibes too. Thank I you like so it. much. I like um, it. I'm gonna put my mask on temporarily, but I can still hear you guys. And then I will be outside, and I can take it off. No, also, fine, this is fine. my friend Irene's mask. It says "Little Freak." I'm a big Hang one. Okay. Oops. <laughs> 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 I actually did a test about that. You could test your freaky level. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did you get? Uh, you know what? I'm very voyeuristic, it turns out. Oh. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Is, is voyeuristic you like to watch or like to be I like, I like to. I like to see what's going on. I have no oh. no judgments in my heart. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love like that. What do you like to watch, Lisa? Oh. We're not getting watch. into this. We oh. are not getting into this. I, I, have, but I've, I, I am, I'm very open minded. Oh, wow! wow. With this conversation, I was, talking, yeah. I was just talking about how I realized I was gay on the show because you and Lisa were like, "Yeah, I'm bisexual. I like both," and I was like, "Interesting. Are you gay?" Very more. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm bi. But I didn't know what I was until the show. I just thought I was like confused. I didn't oh, know you young. could be bi. 
And then you we and Jenna were you. like, yeah, I'm bi. And I was like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Real casual. Can you just like tell me literally everything that there is about that? Can you just like talk about that like a lot? I, really, I, 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 got, I got that compliment from one of my friends that like at such a young age, at such a weird time. Yeah. That was never even a thought. Like, oh, I just, it is. And, yeah. and, and there's so many people that, that, that grappled with that. And it was one of those, as all the things I've had to deal with, that was one of the things that was just so like, I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. One thing that was taken off your plate. Yeah, exactly. But I, I think that's interesting. I never knew that about you. Huh. Yeah, I would be like, at the time I was like, I think I'm gay. But sometimes I'm still attracted to men. And then I would have sex with men. And I'd be like, oh, well, no, um, I don't think so. That was not, that was terrible. That's beautiful, um, though, to me. Yeah, That's and then you guys a... were like, you can just like both. And I was like, oh, you can have, have it all. all. Yeah, I like it all. <laughs> no. yeah, I, yeah, have, yeah. I have left with my imprint somewhere always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the big. That's the thing. That's what we leave on the cutting floor. All those conversations that we had about life and being even agnostic or being open to different concepts. That was such a different era for those kind of conversations. Yeah, and like we would all sit in a circle, and like, do you remember we like wrote down, we like all wrote down secrets and then put them in the middle. But then we just ended up like telling all of them. I'm sorry, oh, people. Yes, are making them we did this because we wanted to bond. Mm-hmm. We this is okay. They left this on the cutting room floor. We wanted to bond, so we did like a girls thing where you know you fall into each other's arms, mm-hmm. and we had that whole. That didn't really help us, but we had yeah, and we like <laughs> made a bunch of like we like baked a bunch of things, I think, in the oven. Well, we had some moments. We did. Yeah. We did have a. See, that was the thing. And a lot of the highlights or a lot of the things that you saw, they painted us as such enemies. But I don't feel like we really were in the grand scheme of things. You know, we just weren't. No. Yeah. We were, we were you know, we were, we were girlies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Although I also, I don't know. I feel like people on reality shows are always like, I didn't come here to make friends. And I was like, oh, no, I did. <laughs> you know, <laughs> We ended up leaving with friends. I mean, you reached yeah. out to me. You reached out to me, and you apologized, but you never needed to. Because for me, oh. all of that in that space, like I said, is just so, just what yeah. it was. And obviously, leaving that bubble and living a, a more in life, like it's it's so obvious that it, yeah. it was what it was. You know, we were and like roommates and siblings, and we were yeah, young. we were so we were babies. And people yeah. don't give us credit for that. Yeah. And the stuff, no. We were just like figuring it out. That was the biggest thing we had ever done at that point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, someone liked my makeover. Thank you. People keep telling me I got a Karen haircut. I liked it. The... They're like, didn't you hate it? Yeah. What did they, wait, I forget. What did they do to your hair? I don't even did remember. They, they cut your Pussy hair. Pussy poodle. Right? They gave me the, the poodle. poodle. You know, I, right. I, I, I love that because... I remember watching that, and everybody kind of clung to that poodle thing. But I'm glad that I got to name it. You yeah. know, nobody else got to give me that title. I, I got, I, I gave myself the poodle. <laughs> well, also, Thanks. if they had to do it to anybody, like there, I can't think of a single hairstyle you could not pull off. Like what well, even? That you had, and you had so many. That like, color what? that they gave Lisa, me. They could have saved it. Lisa, I saw a photo of you with long black hair, and I was like, oh. Oh, my God. Oh, not bad. Stunning. Yeah. Yeah. God. You know, but now I've, I've, I've played with every look. I've probably had every kind of hair you could yeah, imagine. Yeah, you Yeah. That's why they couldn't really me- look. That's why they really couldn't mess me up, because I remember wanting long hair for the show. Look at me messing with my hair now. Yeah, but, I know. But, I'm like, like, <laughs> yeah. but I... I wanted it long but I was so, when it comes to hair you know like for me it's like my mother wore all kinds of wigs growing up yeah so like having short hair was also different and I was like oh this is something I've never done yeah and I was excited that's the yeah thing that. they well, wanted me to cry though you know they wanted me to oh they totally <laughs> wanted us to cry they wanted both of us yeah 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 I'm looking back now and I was like oh yeah they that's what they wanted and I was like it's great let's go okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> I remember I was like, I want long hair. I want long hair. 
my, yeah. see, now you learn what you want in. We, yeah, you, you gotta say what you don't want. Yeah, and Bianca was always like, it's gonna be New Weave Day. And I was like, New Weave Day. No, they played, new, they but, played yeah. with us. But now if I went back, I would have been like, I want short poodle like hair. Yeah. That's what I'm I always really wanted. hope that they dye poodle. my hair a weird color. Um, <laughs> And I want to look like Kate Gosselin. Is that? Can, we do that? <laughs> can, we, can I? Can I bring some soccer mom realness to A N T M? Please. Oh my goodness! But yeah. you know they were trying to get it. But they they got their tears. They got their yeah. tears. They always do. When you signed with an agency after the show, what did they do to your hair? Did they, they like actually? Your hair? They actually cut my hair shorter. They kept yeah. it obviously more natural, and I had a very. I had the Rihanna haircut before Rihanna. Everybody knows. Yeah, you know. Yes, I yeah. did. And and Perhaps, that was yeah. amazing though because that yeah that sent me to Paris right away. Yeah, yeah. So you know, short hair is is what be- the beauty, yeah. the good look on me. They just didn't not give me for that color. plus size girls. I went to the agencies and they were like, "Your hair is too short. Come back in a year." <laughs> yeah, they, they were like, "They're can't, they, plus size models back then couldn't have short hair. I think they could now. I feel like no, now. now there's so much inclusivity with all sorts of things. They, they yeah. really, really don't have, I think, the space to say if you have a beautiful yeah. face and you're a beautiful girl. Before they would, they they would maybe even come on, like even being mixed, right? They'd be like, we have another mixed girl, but they have ten blondes that all look alike. Yeah, and I'm like, there's yeah. one other girl that doesn't even look like me. Yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah, reason. <racist>. No. <laughs> Yeah. Although the makeup artists on the show were good, right? They were, right? They they knew how to. And they the knew makeup to, like, artists were epic. I yeah, mean, I was always trying to get Sutan. Remember Sutan? Oh yeah, everyone. Oh. No, everyone would be like in line. Yeah, I actually all the other get... artists were so good, but we were always like, we want to hang out with Sutan. Sutan, Sutan was Sutan the like drag pictures. Then and there was another. There was a girl that she did goofy stuff. I mean, these people were. Oh yeah, um, they did movies. Yeah. Yeah. I, wait, what was her name? She, she was, was so epic. Good. She did. I remember she did my cheek and all that for the, for yeah. the smoking. Hey. She was amazing. So it I was art. Also, yeah. That. True art. I also. I run into Christian. I run into the hairdresser Christian. Christian. We just shot together like a year ago. Now. Oh really? And uh, the French, the French, the French uh, guy. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That everyone had a crush on. I, uh, I, not my type. He's the no. same. Sweet. I don't Please. like to date a guy prettier than me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, make him look tired and like he has a drug problem. Then he can come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You got a healthy skin routine? No, no. You get eight hours of sleep, get out, get on right out here. You need to spend more time in LA, then. <laughs> cool, You'll yeah. find it. <laughs> yeah. Christian. Oh. Well, yeah. And the stylist, those two little, I say girls, they were women, but they were so petite. Dude, they were these tiny little... Their names. They pick the fans say their names all the time. Tell it, guys. Say their names. <sighs> um, teeny tiny girls. Are we talking about say the stylists? The two stylists. Yeah. We're talking about the stylists. Yeah, they kind of made an impact. Uh, they did. Wait, do you still have your dress? I still have that dress. Anda and Masha. My, Anda. yes. I Anda know. and Masha, yeah. No, I don't. I have only the book left. And I don't the even book? have my... The book? The, the, book they give us oh yeah do you even have the contract i need to review the contract i do have that I do. <laughs> i'll send it to you yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. i'm constantly I worried know, i'm gonna get sued for my there. tiktoks but i think i'm okay <laughs> <laughs> you yeah you know i've been watching your stuff i, I always support you i always support you oh, love so, the stuff yeah. you love the hair. Yeah. Who decide Christian looking like a coked out con- Johnny Depp? That is a that's that's redundant. Yeah, but Johnny Christian? Depp is coked out. Oh no! <laughs> Look at those mouths. I'm sorry, his nose. Uh, no, no. Oh my God, no! Those nasal passages have seen some shit. Oh! Uh, <laughs> mm, listen. Allegedly. Johnny, I mean, I will. Allegedly. Allegedly. Johnny Depp, come allegedly. On. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. Oh, Show that I don't think I'm being that yet. Yeah. Allegedly, but Johnny, you know, I actually was just in Exuma across. I I shot, not shot, but I took some pictures on Johnny Depp's island where he filmed Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny, I just had to drop that. I just had to drop that. That was, that was just. I so I'm officially part of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, in my are. mind, in um, my you mind. totally are. You were totally a badass pirate. That in is. My, Johnny oh, was there in spirit. 
Is this I, your, yes. Look. Oh my god. Take me to Johnny from that era and Oh. Yeah. I'll I will give I mean him yeah. whatever he wanted. That's Ooh. what I'm talking about. Tired. Yeah. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop for uh, <laughs> I, I, my my you know, second Sarah. Is there anything you want to say before we go? Um, I don't know. I don't think I have it. I don't know. I love you. You look beautiful. We're um, we're gonna get up. We're gonna have a kiki. Maybe maybe I'm gonna come and do some comedy with you. I've always do known it. to embarrass myself when it is that, it does it's a lot of that. Yeah. I um, know. Uh, I mean, I will just get up on there and then. Yes. Oh my God. You guys both should come to New York. Um, I'm coming this summer. Come to New York. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I'm very. We are excited. doing it. We should. Yeah, we'll go to the. We'll go to a comedy club and just. Yeah, have a time, have a meet. Let's do it. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Follow me. Yeah, if you're watching, um, I love you and and follow me on on Instagram and stuff and. And TikTok. <laughs> and TikTok. I and TikTok. TikTok. Follow, yes, definitely follow me on TikTok. Um, and yeah, and thank Oliver. Thank you for inviting me. I'm so of glad. Course, I got you of course, it's so good seeing you too. Thank you yeah. for coming. Yeah, thank you for yeah coming on. He asked me. Oh my god, my who pleasure. Who I didn't know. So this uh, was a nice, a nice surprise. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Can oh, I don't even oh, know. Wait. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh yes, I do. There we go. There we. Go. Lisa, I got one more surprise for you. Oh lord. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just Imagine. Playing. <laughs> that would actually be kind of beautiful. I could, like, make my move. Shoot my shot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Lisa. sort of not, but taken really, not really, you know. Thank you so much. I hope Thank you me. had fun. Did you have fun? I did enjoy? have fun. This was fun. Yeah. I felt like, but I kind of, I, you know, I kind of need to expect this from you. And that's why I decided to do this. So I want to thank you. This is cool. You. This was thank fun. You and you're so freaking welcome. I'm so excited and honored that you agreed to do this with me. And for my <laughs> friends on the internet, we're so freaking grateful. I can't yes. wait to meet you because I am coming to Miami. I kind of have to email the other day. I'm like, oh, yeah, girl. Let me, let me wait, go wait, shake my we, ass we, and my put. Maybe we need to do a YouTube uh, thing. No, Adventure? Adventure, all the... All the ANTMs from Cycle Nine. <laughs> oh, that'd be exciting. Cause you know what? I think we were uh, we were a lot like as creative and as interesting as all the girls are. And you see that I think from across the board, mm -hmm. the reason that the girls even got on the show is that they were some of the most interesting people. Then the show just kind of killed that, and it's so unfortunate. Yeah, I can you see know? that. Not, that not, not for everyone, but for a few of the girls I've met outside of the show. And I'm like, no, you're amazing. <laughs> That's how it goes, though. Oh, but, like, things like this give us fans out here another opportunity to see you guys outside of that world and, you know, closer to who you guys really are. We're yeah. so grateful. I'm grateful. Oh, well, so this is it. This is it for now. For now. Yeah, this is fun. Is there anything else you want to add before you go? I think we, I think we, um, I called the police. Maybe they can find Heather. You need to find Heather. <laughs> Where is Heather? Where is Heather? Who the hell is Heather? <laughs> That's a drag race Where is Heather? Well, I think this is it. This is Lisa, fun. Lisa, I can't wait to meet you. Thank you once again for doing this again. Yes. It was my pleasure. It was my honor. I had a great time. I'm happy to know that you had a great time. And yeah. that's that. That's that. It's a wrap. Everybody send Lisa hugs, kisses, all the sugary spices <laughs> and everything nicest that you can. And she leaves and giving an amazing live on Cycle 9 of America's Next Time Off. <laughs> this is fun. Bye, Lisa! Bye! Bye! Love you all. Bye. <laughs> oh, remove. Instagram needs to fix that. And with that, y'all, class is over. Class is dismissed. Your homework is bring your ass back to class tomorrow because I'm knocking y'all hoes and bros over the head with the top model chats for the next five days at least. Next five days. I told you I've been going for a minute and I'm back with the drop out. This video will be uploaded to the Autopus YouTube channel where you can find this chat and like 86 other chats from girls, contestants, even Tyra Bay. 
you can watch, stream, put it on, watch it, get into the things of the things. I've spoken to Sarah, Ambrielle, Chantal, Bianca, and Jenna. And now, Miss Lisa. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And as I always say, be sure to pray, kegel, and cackle. Okay, you gotta laugh. <laughs> You gotta laugh, gotta know how to laugh and bring happiness to your life. Pray, Kegel, and Castle, y'all. Until next time, I love you guys. Come, 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 come